Hey, hey, hey. How are you guys doing? I hope that you are doing good today. And by the way, to all of you complaining about Shani and Reb's beautiful singing that I play, I don't always play them in the beginning. There is a reason, and it's not just to torture you. But when something happens, like what we have to go over today, something fairly big, you know, something's happening that people want to hear about, and we're live, uh, because I, the way that I stream, I, they're not planned, and it just happens randomly, I try to play something to give people a chance to get in here before I get right into everything. So some people have intros that, that they play. Um, maybe I should do that. <laughs> I play these because I think they're fucking hilarious. <laughs> and I have like a hundred different ones that I can play. So I never get bored with like the same, playing the same thing every time. Anyway, but there of course is a part of me that does enjoy torturing you just a little bit, just a little bit. So, um, anyway, so Shani has got, at least Shani's looks like she's gotten the mammogram, the day that we've been waiting for, her, the day that she's been waiting for. Her. I don't even know at this point. Um, so let's pull it up. I have not watched this yet. Okay. This is brand spanking new. And um, I wanted to watch it with you guys for the first time. So the, the title is I Got My Mammogram. Um, I am going to play it with the chat. So you guys can see the chat, what they uh, had to say. Let me see. Let me make it where it's fairly big for you so you can read it easier. And we're going to get right into this. Let's see. Okay. Let's make it a little bit better quality. All right. There we go. Not that the quality matters because, let's face it, she's not the best with the camera, but um i just want to show you this is what they like put on your wounds i guess um i guess to give more attention to the areas but they put it around your wounds this like little sticker thing when you get a mammogram um it like started out like um she said put your arms down so i put my arms straight and um i'm gonna go ahead and say it to you from the get-go i have never had a mammogram so i don't know really much about them i know i know what i've been told you know obviously i've seen heard about mammograms but i have not personally um experienced one so I'm not going to speak or be able to speak. You guys, some of you will be able to do better than me on telling me whether or not this is accurate, what she's going to say here, because I won't really know. So you got to you gotta help assist out. She flattened my boob on, on this table with this, like, plastic, like, screening area, very much like an x-ray in a way how it twists and stuff and then oh shit one more thing sorry i know i'm uh interrupting a lot really quick off the bat if you're a uh, mod for this channel thank you first off thank you very much um but i need a favor from some of you um those of you that are here if you are not on discord or if you are on discord one or the other we need to get a hold of you if that's possible we need all the mods there there's a special um channel for the mods and everything and that's where a lot of discussions go down um behind the scenes so it would be very helpful to us if you could um find us over there and join that discord so let me know if you need any of the information um and if you can Mandalorian's probably the per the person to get with if you need to get with somebody. She's been posting links and things um, in the chat. I'm, I've got something I need to post and pin to the top, but I forgot to do that. So um, just kind of letting you guys know, it's not like, oh my God, life or death right now. But if you could at your convenience, 
uh, get up with us about that. That would help out a lot. So thank you guys. And, um, then they did the, they, they twisted the machine on the lateral side. So I, I got the other breast, you, you know, one, like they, they do the top of the breast and take a picture there. And then they do the side of the breast and take a picture on it. But these little things are what they put around the wounds or the lumps or whatever. The wounds? What is she talking about? The things that they put around the wounds? See, I'm already confused. <clears throat> is she talking about those marks that were on her boobs? I don't understand. Um, when you have your mammogram, it's kind of interesting um so these were on my, i had a bunch of them i have like a whole stack of them putting it around my wounds like the just a whole stack of a bunch of little stickers they put around. that's probably because you have a bunch of like st st things that you've picked at on your boobs that's ugh. and i mean i've said this before and i could be wrong but that's not how breast cancer works, is it? It doesn't show up, like, and have a bunch of, like, wounds on your boobs. Am I crazy? Or isn't it more something that you feel a lump? That's what I've always been told is, like, you, you feel for a lump, right? You do a little, um, I don't know, exam on your own breast and when you feel a lump that's when you're supposed to be concerned these things like these marks that's just a derma dermatological i don't know if that's a word dermatological um issue or problem it's the skin thing not a boob thing maybe i'm crazy but that's the way that it seems to me around when i had my mammogram <laughs> But um, I'm just waiting for the results and, and seeing what they have to say. Wait a minute. When they do a mammogram, they don't look at it right away? Now I'm really confused. Okay, the sticker goes on the lump. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So the lumps are the wounds. Okay. So that answers that question. Um, no, a, a specialist has to see it. How long does that usually take, I wonder? You would think they would be quick about things like that. Um, and then I guess we'll go to the next step after that. But, um, I will say for people who've never had a mammogram, it wasn't painful at all. Oh! Um, <laughs> I could see. It wasn't painful at all. I thought they were supposed to be really painful. See, obviously, when I, I get one done, then I'll I'll learn a lot because I'm I really didn't think that it worked like kind of the way that it seems like. Like I thought it was more like an ultrasound. See how much pounds of pressure they were like it was on the um the side of the machine they were doing the mammogram on but they were pressing my boobs on uh on 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 my right side it was like 35 pounds of pressure they put on my right side and then on my left side of my breast they put 55 pounds of pressure on it so um yeah i feel fine um like right before they take the picture they take they tell you to like hold your breath right before it and it was it was kind of like in the middle of my mammogram i kind of i i started having a uh heat flash so i had to like stop and sit down because i felt like i was about to freaking pass out um i'm wondering oh if it was God. nerves or something but i did do it hi nashi by the way how are you babe um but yeah, I did it. Um, get your boobies checked if you have a lump um, or you have a wound that doesn't heal. It's not as scary 
as um, some people put it, you know. But, yeah, this is what they put around your, the, like, wounds that you have. Thank you, Moonface Pondu, for the um, super chat. You said, I'm a four-year survivor. The only type of, of breast cancer that isn't a tumor is inflammatory breast cancer, but it would be a red rash around the areola. I had a lump, but no sticker put on it. Yes, it hurt. Thank you so much for the super chat, Moonface Pondu. And I'm glad to hear that you are a four-year survivor. Let's get some hearts in the chat for Moonface Pondu. That is awesome such such a good thing to hear um and thank you for the information um because i didn't know that and i appreciate that um so thanks again have if you're going to get checked for breast cancer um so what do you guys think so far did she go did this actually happen what do you guys think I tend to think that she did. I think that it literally has become a thing, though, where, like, she was kind of forced to do it, to continue, like, for instance, I think that they have the uncle really, really thinking that she is legitimately sick, and um, I think that he probably knows about this appointment as well. He might have had something to do with him, you know what I mean? He might have been, like, to for them to prove that she's really like worried about all this and could be sick and things like that they probably he's probably requiring some sort of <laughs> proof at this point and um i think it might have also had to do with cps um i mean there it's going on a year now i mean think about that it's almost march now she lost custody of the kids in june so she's a few months away from this being a full year without her kids a full year which is hard to believe but how long i mean do you really get when they're in foster care before they take some permanent um steps i don't know but time is ticking by and her kids are not young kids they're teenagers at this point so she's on borrowed time already with them because you only get so many more years and then they're gone they're adults you can't go back so i think she's proven things to cps and that side of things as well um i think that she has finally gotten to a point where they are like telling her to put up or shut up type of thing type of thing and so she's probably having to do some of these appointments and the thing for her is it's i think that she's probably been worried about it not because she's worried that she's sick but because she's worried what the hell she's gonna do when these tests come back and prove that she's okay and she can't continue to run with this narrative oh i'm sick i'm dying i can't work because i'm sick and i'm dying and give us money because i'm sick and i'm dying she won't be able to do that anymore and i think she's probably terrified of that so anyway let's see what else she says here <laughs> when do you get your results probably soon the next couple days okay um, that's good So, we got that done. So, I'll let you guys go. Um, is there anything you want to say, honey? No, cigarettes. He wants cigarettes, so if you would like to provide the husband with cigarettes, I guess you could go to... Oh, my God. Did you hear him laugh after he said that? Hold on, I'm going back. Now, I, I knew, I knew, I knew there was going to be some part of this that was going to piss me off. Up until this point, it was like, okay, this is believable. Glad that she finally got something done. No, no, Rev has to chime in asking for fucking money 
and then has the nerve to sit there and laugh about it. Because he knows how ridiculous that is. You know what I mean? He knows how ridiculous that is. He literally is laughing because he heard himself say it and thought, <laughs> yeah, this is a fucking joke. God. Wait a minute. What did that just do? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. I'm like, what? Oh, Bruce, thank you so much for the super chat. You said she doesn't seem to be that concerned about the results that are coming. But I do think she went, that's a good point, Bruce. That's a good point. She seems pretty calm, doesn't she? For someone who's worried that she has breast cancer and hasn't gotten the results yet. If they were concerned, you know, you would think she would probably have been a little more concerned. So it seems like she's thinking the hard part is over probably because she knows she doesn't have cancer. And she knows that this going to the, having to fool with going to this appointment was the biggest ordeal and, and hard for her that and what she's when the, when it comes out that she doesn't, that's probably why she's also like able to breathe a sigh of relief, even though she hasn't gotten the results because she's probably more worried about how she's going to explain that she doesn't have breast cancer than she is about whether or not she actually has it or not. Cause she knows she doesn't <laughs> anyway. Is there Thank anything you, you want to say, honey? No, cigarettes. He wants cigarettes, so if you would like to provide okay. the husband with cigarettes, I guess you could go to PayPal at Rev Dude and help him out because he wants Hold on. He wants cigarettes, so if you would like to provide okay. the husband with cigarettes, I guess I mean, it's just the gall. He wants cigarettes. <laughs> like, get a job, Rev. Get a fucking job, dude. Uh, Lardo845, thank you so much for the super chat. You said, I honestly don't think they want the kids back. I think the uncle has been on their back about things. I agree, Lardo. I totally agree with that. I don't think they want the kids back either. I think it's all about the uncle and, uh, you know, them being able to stay living there because I think that, you know, last year, whenever it was that they – lived with the uncle for not with the uncle lived at the uncle's place for um a few months and then had to move out and move in to g-man's place because the uncle was fed up and wanted them to get jobs and saw that they refused to get jobs so what changed the only thing that's changed besides the fact that they don't have the kids anymore is her being sick and them kind of really running with that so i do think that that has been why he has been so cool with them um and the fact that they're sitting there not doing anything i think they know that they're you know they don't have much longer that she, they know she's not sick and they know that they're not going to be able to keep running with this for very long so they're just buying their time right now trying to stretch this out as long as they can and uh, they know the day is coming where I think that they do hold out some kind of hope that maybe the uncle will just feel bad enough to just give them the house some way or let them, you know, say they're going to buy the house or something like that. That wouldn't surprise me either. But I don't think that I tend to think that that's not going to happen, um, especially with them not neither one of them working. Um, literally Davis fam, thank you for the super chat. You said she will lie and say she has it and use HIPAA to avoid proof for privacy. Yep. She loves to do that, doesn't she? She always brings up HIPAA. Um, but yeah, she will. She'll lie and, you know, it's not, she's very predictable. Very, very predictable. Um, thank you, literally Davis family for the super chat. I appreciate that could go to PayPal at Rev Dude and help him out because he wants some cigarettes. I love you, Shani. But I should be getting oh the doctor. And then, I love you, Shani. I love you, baby. Thank you for asking for my cigarettes. Like, these two are such trash. <laughs> I mean, such trash. Um, is there anything you want to say, honey? No, cigarettes. 
He wants cigarettes, so if you would like to provide the husband with cigarettes, I guess you could go to PayPal at Rev Dude and help him out because he wants some cigarettes. I love you, too. But I should be getting the doctor the doctor's results soon and we'll find out what happens after that. Um <laughs> But yeah, this is I like that they have flowers on it. Kind of like makes it not as like stressful getting your boobs done. <laughs> and mammograms. Who would be if you didn't if you did not have the answers yet and you thought you had cancer, who would be sitting here laughing? Laughing. Listen to her. Stressful getting your boobs done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and mammograms. So God. <sighs> what is she doing? Do you hear her breathing? She's like... Like, back off the mic. God. But, it may God protect your mommy makers. Milk. <laughs> your mommy milkers. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. All right. I'll let you boogers go. I'm gonna... I'm gonna, you know, chill out. I love you. You guys have a wonderful day. Peace and Maranatha, guys. Well. Well, well, well. What do we think? What do we think, you guys? I do think she went. So I'm going to say that. Um, I do think she went. I don't think she's worried about it. And I think that for the next couple of days until she has the results, she's going to ham it up like she does. And then when she gets the results back, I think that it's going to turn from breast cancer into some other you know there's still going to be some other shit wrong with her it's that's not going to be the end of it but i do think that this might be i don't i just can't picture how she would be able to continue to uh talk about having breast cancer and not ha show the results that say definitively she has breast cancer moonface pond do thank you for the super chat you said she can't fake a chemo port just saying Right? No, she can't. It's it's time is running out with that. Um, so I'm curious to see what uh, the next course of action there will be. Um, so before we go, um, we can watch a couple of other things if you guys are down. Um, I don't know if all of you were in the stream earlier today where we played. In fact. Let me pull that up. We'll play that again, just in case. There might be a lot of you that were not here for a rev stream this morning. Um, in the chat, um, did you guys all see, the, or have a lot of you not seen this stream? It's very short, so let me pull this up. And I'll uh, play this, and then I'll play you uh, G-Man's response. Because this is dedicated from Rev to G-Man. And, and G-Man has responded since the stream this morning. So I'm going to play that for you guys while you're here. All right. Here we go. This is... I was surprised because I didn't think that Shani and Rev still had a rumble. I thought they said they deleted it. But apparently they did not delete it. Um, they just deleted all the stuff that was on it. So this, the title of this 
It's from six hours ago, and it's titled Fuck Off Gary, in parentheses, G-Man Reaping and Sewing. This video goes out to Gary Moore. Uh, he has a channel called Reaping and Sewing on YouTube. Uh, I want you to shut the fuck up about my wife. <laughs> like, now. I don't want you talking about Shani anymore, bro. Uh, I'm getting really pissed off at hearing this bullshit every day of you lying about our relationship and lying about everything. Um, I'm really... When I say I'm getting sick of it, it's like I think the cops are going to get called soon. Because you're a fucking stalker, asshole. The cops are going to get called. And what are you going to tell them, Rev? That somebody's talking about you on YouTube? That someone's talking about your wife on YouTube? You're going to call the cops about that? I would love for you to do that. So, G-Man, I'm telling you to stop your bullshit. Stop it. I don't want any kind of sympathy from you. You're an asshole. All the things that you're saying about Shani are untrue because she she doesn't want to fuck you. <laughs> you're offended because Shani doesn't want to fuck you. Get over it. You're an asshole. She wouldn't want to be with you if she wasn't with me. S just fuck off and die. Wow. Fuck off and die. Here, I'm going to play that one more time straight through. This video goes out to Gary Moore. Uh, he has a channel called Reaping and Sewing on YouTube. Uh, I want you to shut the fuck up about my wife. Like, now. I don't want you talking about Shani anymore, bro. Uh, I'm getting really pissed off at hearing this bullshit every day of you lying about our relationship and lying about everything. Um, I'm really... When I say I'm getting sick of it, it's like, I think the cops are going to get called soon because you're a fucking stalker, asshole. So, G-Man, I'm telling you to stop your bullshit. Stop it. I don't want any kind of sympathy from you. You're an asshole. All the things that you're saying about Shani are untrue because she, she doesn't want to fuck you. You're offended because Shani doesn't want to fuck you. Get over it. You're an asshole. She wouldn't want to be with you if she wasn't with me. S just fuck off and die. <laughs> fuck off and die. So dramatic, Rev. So dramatic. So, that's what Rev had to say this morning. Now, we're going to listen to what G-Man had to say. Oh, some idiot. Thank you for the super chat. You said this is so clearly scripted by Shani. Oh, God, yeah. And I'm sure she woke up bitching and, and going nuts about having to go get this mammogram done. Triggering him already. And then I don't know what she saw that made her jump on this G-Man stuff. But I'm sure she went whining and, and going nuts to Rev. And Rev got triggered by that and felt like he had to uh jump on and defend her honor like always makes himself look like a dumbass so all right here we go this is called jason shanny is already my property because she got owned damn g-man's going in already just with the title So anyway, instead of making an actual video dealing with this moron, I decided to leave a, a, a comment in his thread, and it was pretty long. Uh, you can take a look at this yourself, and you'll see what I said to him. And I wanted to record this before he deletes it and pretend like I didn't respond to him. See, Rev, you're mad at me because I sent you a $35 cash app request. I gave you a taste of your own medicine because, you know, for, for, for that whole time, the latter part of Colorado, to you guys moving to Scranton, all you guys did was beg and 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 beg, like the two bums that you are, right? And 
I just decided that I, you know, maybe I should do it to you and let you know how it feels to have somebody constantly beg, 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 beg all the time. And I only did it one time and I'll show everybody what I'm talking about uh, in this video. You should be able to see it right now. But um, the fact that she declined it, but I did make a big response here in the chat of this video. You can actually go over there and actually read it for yourself or you can pause the video. And you can actually look at it and see what I actually said. OK, all I know is the most important part is P.S. House almost sold. Leave her or you get nothing. And I mean. Right. Hold on. Let me go back because I want to read it. It says, I shall respond. Oh, I'm on Rumble. Also, Rev, everything I said about your whore is true. Damn. Your whore. Damn, G-Man. All right. Your whore lied and said I gave her a death sentence. Yet she will not apologize. You're so stupid you don't realize when you were in jail, Zach and William were calling me daddy. Damn. Your woman wanted to sleep with me when you were in jail, moron. No, Jason. She made... I rejected her. She's mad I rejected her. Could you blame... Uh... <laughs> Ew, could you blame me? She smells like fungus feet. Lastly, please call the police so I can show them how that Chia pet girlfriend of yours is running a cancer scam. I'll be on several channels telling everyone what an awesome whore you have. Threaten me again, and I'll give all those memory cards to the geek room. You've been warned. I'll make I'll make again about her later today to show you why i don't fear a boy who gets beat up by a yeah, right now but um the fact that she declined it but i did make a big response here in the chat by a woman out of his video you can actually go over the p.s house almost sold leave her or you get nothing Woo! the only thing i i, I have to say about that g-man is don't give the memory cards to the geek room. Give the memory cards to me. <laughs> of course, like I've got to, I've got to do that. I've got to ask at least. <laughs> there and actually read it for yourself, or you can pause the video. You can actually look at it and see what I actually said. Okay. All I know is the most important part is P.S. House almost sold. Leave her or you get nothing. And I mean that with every fiber of my being. The fact of the matter is that you would stay with this domestic abuser the fact that you would stay with this woman who beats up men the fact that you would stay with somebody that you got to beg for cookies for and i dare you to say i'm lying about that you moron everybody on youtube is laughing at you too because of that all right oh i'm sorry you two are perfect for each other i mean you, you beat up little kids especially mentally ill kids that's what you do sir and both of you love to use racist language yep they do. You two are perfect for each other. But, sir, even with all of that, with all of the garbage, with all the porn, the OnlyFans, and all of the stupid stuff the two of you have done in your YouTube careers, I am still willing to help you out. I only got one requirement, that you get away from that toxic, Jurassic Park-looking whore of a woman that you call your wife, to whom you have no marriage certificate to say that. So, excuse oh me. Oh, my God, that picture. Hold on. I got to go back. And all of the stupid stuff the two of you have done in your YouTube careers. I am still willing to help you out. I only got one requirement that you get away from that toxic Jurassic Park looking whore of a woman that you call your wife to whom you have no marriage certificate. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't. G-Man is on fire today. <laughs> to say that. So excuse me, sir, if I decide to tell the truth and say that that's your girlfriend and not your wife. Because you wasn't man enough to actually marry her. Oh. All right. And aren't you supposed to be looking for a job? Oh. I'm just saying. He is supposed to be looking for a job. Wow. Wow. Hold on. Okay, I gotta watch that one more time all the way through. <laughs> so
So anyway, instead of making an actual video dealing with this moron, I decided to leave a, a, a comment in his thread, and it was pretty long. Uh, you can take a look at this yourself, and you'll see what I said to him. And I wanted to record this before he deletes it and pretend like I didn't respond to him. See, Rev, you're mad at me because I sent you a $35 cash app request. I gave you a taste of your own medicine because, you know, for, for, for that whole time, the latter part of Colorado, to you guys moving to Scranton, all you guys did was beg and 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 beg, like the two bums that you want. I love how people, like, it seems like in these uh, YouTuber communities or whatever, especially Shani and Rev and stuff, like, ev they do all of this uh, communicating with through cash app. Isn't that kind of crazy and like weird the way that that works? Like, they're like sending cash app requests to each other, but really they're just doing it to send the comment and the message that they're sending with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I guess that's because like maybe they have each other blocked on shit everywhere else or something. I don't know, but I think it's funny the way they do that. It's like <laughs> I sent you a cash app request and I told you this and this and this, and then oh, they sent me a cash app request. To, like, it's just kind of crazy. Anyway, just me. You are, right? And I just decided that, I, you know, maybe I should do it to you and let you know how it feels to have somebody constantly beg, 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 beg all the time. And I only did it one time, and I'll show everybody what I'm talking about uh, in this video. You should be able to see it right now. But um, the fact that she declined it. But I did make a big response here in the chat of this video. You can actually go over there and actually read it for yourself, or you can pause the video. You can actually look at it and see what I actually said. OK, all I know is the most important part is P.S. House almost sold. Leave her or you get nothing. And I mean that with every fiber of my being. The fact of the matter is that you would stay with this domestic abuser. The fact that you would stay with this woman who beats up men. The fact that you would stay with somebody that you got to beg for cookies for. And I dare you to say I'm lying about that, you moron. Everybody on YouTube is laughing at you two because of that. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. You two are perfect for each other. I mean, you, you beat up little kids, especially mentally ill kids. Mm. That's what you do, sir. And both of you love to use racist language. You two are perfect for each other. But, sir, even with all of that, of all of the garbage, with the porn, the OnlyFans, and all of the stupid stuff the two of you have done in your YouTube careers, I am still willing to help you out. I only got one requirement, that you get away from that toxic, Jurassic Park-looking whore of a woman <laughs> that you call your wife, to whom you have no marriage certificate to say that. So excuse me, sir, if I decide to tell the truth and say that that's your girlfriend and not your wife, because you wasn't man enough to actually marry her. Mm. All right. And aren't you supposed to be looking for a job? I'm just saying. Just saying. Love that. Love that. All right. So what do we do next? Do we wrap this up or do you guys want to watch um, maybe some older Shani um, couple of clips here and there, something that we can find and pull up? What do you guys think? Are you down? I know one I wanted to pull up first. Let me go. It's on the... Um, let's see. Is it this one? No, it's not that one. Hold on one second, guys. I think it's this one either, is it? Nope. Of course, it's going to be the last one that I tried. All right, here we go. I want to show this one just because I don't think some people know and not everyone has seen that Shani literally has been saying that she's dying from cancer for years, off and on for years. Just like here, which this was June 5th, 2019. I guess you got your wish, Blue, like, 
All those times you said, I hope you get cancer and die. Huh. I'm facing that reality. So I'm going to do you a favor, Blue. I'm going to let you watch me suffer and die. So you can feel better about such a wonderful human being you are for wishing that upon someone. Just to see them go through it. I hope. I hope it gives you joy and satisfaction. I hope it gives you some twisted form of justice in your head. You know. I hope it's nice for you guys to see me get what I, I guess I deserve. After I've given so much to you guys in the community, but it doesn't fucking matter. I'm still an awful piece of shit person. So you get your wish. You get your wish. You get to see me die. Yes, sir. So, so I hope happy. So dramatic. Like, come on, Shani. Alright. What else is there on here? Let's see. Let's see what screw it is. Like, seriously. What the fuck? I, I'm like, screw it with everyone. I'm just going to keep to myself at this point. You know, I, I, I tried to be nice with my mom and help her out. And be like, let me help you out. And here she is on Brucifer's channel making fun of me with Savella. And it's like, I'm a, I was, I offered to help you. And you're making fun of me? Like, you say you want the best of me, mom, but you make fun of me with Savella? And then you keep on her routine that I came on to Bruce Shepard and I didn't. Uh oh, I didn't know this was going to be about Sabella. But you think I want to give you money after that? I tried so hard to get a hold of you. I tried to get a hold of Aaron. I tried to get a hold of Brad, Michael, Joe. No one would talk to me. All I was trying to do was help you and be a good person to you. Right. And be a good daughter for you. But you don't fucking care. I tried to get a hold of you. I tried to message you on Facebook and everything. Your excuse is I never gave you money and I did. I offered you money and then you give me no way how to get a hold of you. Claiming that I could get a hold of you. And then seeing Michael hang up on me when all I asked was your phone number. You really told a lot of shit about me and told a lot of lies about my uh, to my to the family about me, didn't you, Mom? You know what? I'm not doing this to myself anymore. I'm gonna protect myself. I don't have long left to live anymore. I don't have one left, and I'm not going to spend it trying to chase after a mother who never wanted me. You only mentioned that money because that's what you want. That's what you ever wanted from me. You want money from me. You to the whole world that one little thing about money. And that's what it was about, wasn't it? That's what you really want me in your life. Because you gave me no no way how to get a hold of you. And you trash talk me when I'm trying to legitimately help you and dad. You're wrong. You're wrong. 
and I'm done with you. Because I can't keep doing this, and everyone involved with you, and everyone involved with Amy, and all of them, I'm done. Because I tried. I tried. And instead, I get fucking spit on. Wow. So, uh, oops. The day that came around was the day. Oh, whatever that was. Stop. Um, so Sabella just sent a link, uh, dropped a link in the chat to something I think that she thought you guys might want to see. Let's see. This is to, uh, it says, coming on to Bruce Shepard. I think I've seen this one before. <laughs> this is from May 9th, uh, 2019. I know. Oh, Baby, yeah. it's okay. I've seen this. You know, this was okay. crazy. Yeah. Ah. Okay, so we gotta put on your lipstick. No, okay. baby, you gotta be pretty. You know, I got my wig. We gotta threesome with him. Okay. We gotta threesome with him. I can't wait for it. It's I, so I know, you're so pretty. You're so pretty, baby. All right, let's put the lipstick on. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay, oh, baby. Uh, we're going to make you look all sexy for Bruce. Oh, oh I lost that one. Yeah. Yes, bitch. Yes, bitch. Oh, yeah, bitch. He's so hot. Oh, yeah. He's like a big walrus. Oh, my God. You're gorgeous and sexy as fuck right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at that. I love it, baby. Just look how beautiful you are. I look like fucking Sleeky Ramirez, baby. I know, and we gotta we, we gotta put some money, honey, on you too. Absolutely, do me up, man. I'm ready. Where okay, I'm here we you, gotta baby. get you all pretty for Bruce, because you know what? We gotta yeah. have our threesome with Bruce too. Absolutely, it's about time. I know, I isn't was, it? I've been waiting for it. Oh my God, we've been waiting. We've been having a secret emotional affair for years with him. Yeah. Chris didn't even know about it either. It was me, Bruce, and Jason the whole entire time. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sorry, Sabella. Your husband was cheating with us. Oh my God. So full of it. I know. Oh my God. That's so beautiful. Oh, bitch. Oh my God. You're so fucking gorgeous. Mm. Just wanted to share. Let me share some uh, a little bit of breaking news here. Um, Shani posted on her community tab forty minutes ago. She posted, "Moms be like, my didn't, my son didn't do shit," which that's kind of funny, kind of cute. Then three minutes ago, Shani says, "I'm asking for prayers for Jason's interview tomorrow. Also, cigarettes need prayers for that too." What? Like, do you guys actually believe that he has an interview? Because I don't. <laughs> I believe he needs the cigarettes. I think that's their way of justifying asking for cigarettes. Because it sounds a lot less um, pathetic to say, oh, prayers for his job interview tomorrow and we need cigarettes. No. You need cigarettes and you're trying to make it seem like you got a job interview to try to, because you think you got a better chance of getting donations if you say that. You ain't fooling no one, okay? Nobody. This is what you can have, Bruce, too. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh. When are you coming over, baby? Yeah, when are you coming over, Bruce? Trigger warning. <laughs> Bruce? Come on, Bruce. Oh, yeah. We'll suck your dick so fucking hard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, we'll do this. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Just like mm. that. Oh. Why, you want to bring both? That's up to you. You know, mm. that's, I, I have to stay Ooh. dry, but. I know, baby. Mm. Oh. The mm. Yeah, I get the little period. I'm going to be sick. I'll be right back, guys. Yeah. 
I know. Okay, oh, Brucey Poo. Yeah, oh, you remember that time we pegged you? Yeah, man. Oh my God, it was just so fucking amazing, Brucey Poo. We're waiting, Brucey Poo. Where are you at? And you remember that time you told me my pussy was so much sweeter than Sabella's because her tastes like fish tank? Yeah, you you needed to wash your stuff. I I, I know, I know. She had to put on deodorant and shit on her vagina because it smelled so bad. Yeah, she was just a little bit. Shani, do I need to remind you that you did an OnlyFans video where you were in the bathtub and you literally held up a bat a bottle of Vagisil odor control? But you're gonna talk about. Okay, yeah. Mm hmm Sure. I don't know. I know. I didn't feel like washing that day, I guess. Oh, bitch, that's beautiful. I know. I know. We got to use Jeffree Star's alien palette on you. Oh, my God, bitch. I love Jeffree Star. You're going to be beautiful. Close your eyes. You're going to be gorgeous, baby. Okay. Okay. Woo! We'll have one purple eye. And Rev, you wonder why you're broke now. Look at the crazy shit that you, this woman, brought into your life and you just went right along with it. Like, do you, I don't even need to ask, do you go with everything she says? Because I know the answer. Yes, you do. Is there anything that you would say no to? <laughs> like, because this should have been the time. Because you're a bitch like that? Oh, uh, yeah. And then we're going to do one green eye and flying saucer. Flying saucer? Oh, my God, bitch. Oh, my God, bitch. By the way, Shani, that technique that you're using to put on makeup ain't working very well, dude. Like, you just throw that shit on there, don't you? It reminds me of, like, a child, like a little girl playing with her mommy's makeup for the first time. You're absolutely beautiful. Oh, my God. Bruce Shepard is going to be stuck in your dick for hours, baby. Oh, get closer. Give him those lips and tell, show them how beautiful you are. You know, Brucey, I can last a long time, you know. He can, ma'am. Yeah, Shani's been sucking me off like a vacuum cleaner for the last year or so. Ew. Yeah. yeah. I can last a long time, baby, so you're going to have to get down there pretty soon. You're as sexy as Nadia. I'm crying, baby. Oh, my God. Where's Nadia? Man? I know. We need Nadia because she was in our threesomes with Brucey Poo. Yep. Oh, my God. Nadia. Nadia was there. Want to hop titties? They were, like, doing a music video or something. Nadia was there, definitely. She looked like an old man. I know, man. You straight up lick that pussy. Ew. Ah. Jesus. I know, baby. Ah. Ew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me hit my wig, man. That's I'm sorry. Here. We're getting all freaky before Brucey comes over. I know. I know. We got to get the stuff. I know. I know. To answer a few of your questions, yes, this was wet brain rev. And yes, her kids were in the room next next door to this. There's no way they didn't hear this shit. I know, man. I know. Oh my god, do you know how many boxes Stabby's gonna stab now knowing the secret that we've been fucking Bruce the whole entire time? I don't know, baby. What are we gonna do? She's gonna stab and murder boxes. It's okay. I love you. I love you. Uh, mm. 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 
Why you want me to strangle you or something? Oh, me too, MT. Me too. That or uh, what's her name, Gypsy Rose? I mean, I don't think anybody would have sh- would have blamed them for that. Oh, strangle me, bitch! Strangle me! Oh! <laughs> oh, crap. oh that was so. Hot. We're on some kind of weird trip here, man. We just gotta go down the fucking road. And oh my inside. god! Oh, it's so hot. Anyway. Oh, my God. Bruce is knocking at the door. No. Oh, it's our time. We got to go, guys. I'm sorry. We got to have big, sexy time with Nadia and Bruce. Uh, what, do you have anything else you got to say, baby? That all the deep lost men out there ain't got nothing. Ain't got nothing on that revenue, you know? Oh my God, Red's got such a big cock. He does. Oh, you're so Ew. Mmm. 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 torture having to watch this <laughs> like oh my god i give up oh so yeah. Bruce, oh wait we gotta get Bruce. we're too high oh yeah he he's okay i don't know where we left the car I, maybe down the street I'm not maybe sure. it is because you know i i don't know man lay off drugs kids Lay off the drugs. Anyway. Yeah, later, bitches. We play the game always because it needs to be fair. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. All right. Um. Oh, yeah, I did pull up. I don't know what this is. I just randomly saw it. And thought, why the heck not? So, let's see what this is about. This is from June 18th, 2021. Oh, God. A mukbang. Mm. Oh, how you doing, folks? It's a Jason Avocado situation. So, so YouTube, the abusive employer decided that I can't use their platform. So, Instagram gets Jason Avocados 420. Oh my God, twisting insanity, what's up? What's up? Okay, here we go. This is mukbang material, okay? We're talking mukbangs. Now, as people know, I have come home. So this pizza is uh, legendary. It, I mean, it's been at so many parties, you can't even imagine. Hello, Jasmine. Hello, Chandra. You're all chanty folk, I bet. So, holy crap, folks. It's Jessup Pizza. Oh, my God. That's it. Double crusted. This is by request of Shanty. Double crust. Oh, my God. Double crusted. Ew. Ew. Broccoli. Oh my god. Ew. The cheese. Sound. Cheese poles. Oh my god, folks. Okay. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> Ew. The sound. Hi, live to ride. Hi. Hey, oh my God, Mike. Holy shit. I see a fucking Mike Andrews. Holy shit, Mike. Dude, we, holy cheese, right? We got to hang out, Mike, and play hacky sack, all right? You're oh the shit, God. Mike. I love you. Hacky sack. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my God. 
Oh. My Jessica. God. I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch this. I think I think I might have to turn this off in a second because that sound is oh my, bad is not a good enough word. Yeah, that's not Mike Mike Shanny, but that's that's an that's another Mike. He's another awesome Mike. That that that's the Mike that was in my class actually. Mike Giancini now, he uh, he was a couple of years below me. Yeah. Oh, God. Ew. Wow. Ew. My God. Okay, I don't think I can handle much more of this. No. Let me pull something All right. up. What? Uh... Jessup Pizza is actually better than I remember it. Okay. I I don't know. They may have changed owners or something since I've been here. But oh my god, the cheese pull. Alright, that's fucking it. Look at this shit. Hey, Nikocado Avocado. I love cheese, but um look at this. Oh my god. Oh. Uh. oh my God, Mike! Thanks for being. All right, I'm 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 pausing it. I'm pausing it. I can't take any more. Um, let's see. What's a good one to watch? I'm probably gonna wrap this up in a second. Um, but we'll watch a couple more things. Let's see what the fuck this is about. Now, it's time for individuals that are the adults in the community, the community. It's time for the adults that have actually had things happen to them in their lives and have lived a life somewhat to have a discussion here, okay? Now, we have this little girl named Jules that really thinks that it's needed for uh, exposing to happen of two people, literally, that just want to make content on the internet. And this is how we've always been, both me and Shani, are just two individuals that want to be on a platform to potentially make some money. And Shani's doing that now, and she's on her road. But here's the thing. We have to talk like adults about Adults being adults and having adult things in their life, okay? You have this girl that has no life experience with, 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 with a husband and, 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 and you have to mesh. I mean, what's going on with me and Shani is literally a person coming into their lives that was not part of their family at all. And I'm not the biological father of, of her children. That's even more complex, because you're coming into a situation with, you don't know if I could have been a, you know, crazy person. Totally nuts. So you're, you're merging. You are, we do know. Uh, separate, totally separate people into a new unit of a family. Now that's what has been happening for three years. I've gotten to know the boys. I've gotten to know Shani more and better and better and better every day. I know her better so that I don't I don't say stupid stuff and, and, and I'm stopping my bad behavior. I'm trying to, but I fail almost every day of stopping my bad behavior of anger and, and childish name calling and things like this. And I was allowed to get away with stuff like that, being a pretty much a spoiled, you know, only kid. Uh, I There were bad behaviors that I was allowed to get away with, but... That's being all corrected now with God being God. And he's like, right. son, you need to correct some things. So this this yeah, family yeah. situation has actually made me grow immensely in understanding how you have to balance things. You can't just be like, uh -oh. well, this is how I... He posted a new video, eh? All right, hold on one second. Let me pull it up.
All right, this is brand new. Asking prayers <clears throat> on my interview. Hey guys, what's up? It's it's uh, Rev here. Uh, I'm just uh, asking for some prayer right now because I got a job interview tomorrow. It's pretty much like... I mean, for an in-person interview like this, it's going to be like the first time I'm doing something like this. I know it's crazy, but I had a... My life went it the way it did, and I never had to do this before, so... Um, I'm just asking for some, some prayers for guidance and um, mental health. Let's put it that way. Um, I'd really appreciate it. If you'd like to help us out, my PayPal is um, at RevDude, R-E-V-D-U-D-E. -E, if you'd like to help us out, uh, we're cigaretteless. So, <laughs> okay. Um, thank you, guys. Uh, onward and upward, I guess. Oh, my God. Hey, guys, God. what's up? It's, it's, uh, Hold on. Let's listen to it one more time. Uh, Rev here. Uh, I'm just uh, asking for some prayer right now because I got a job interview tomorrow. It's pretty much like, I mean, for an in-person interview like this, it's going to be like the first time I'm doing something like this. I know it's crazy, but I had a, my life went it the way it did, and I never had to do this before, so. Wow. Um, I'm just asking for some, some prayers for guidance and um, mental health. Let's put it that way. Um, I'd really appreciate it. If you'd like to help us out, my PayPal is um, at RevDude, R-E-V-D-U-D-E. -E. If you'd like to help us out, uh, we're cigaretteless. So, <laughs> okay. Um, thank you, guys. Uh, onward and upward, I guess. He's such a liar, dude. You can tell that he's lying. Like, you can tell he's just completely full of shit. And like I said... What he's doing is he knows that it's really pathetic for him to be asking for money again, asking for cigarettes, especially with how he's acted, how both of them have acted recently. Um, and so he thinks he can get on here and say this and fool people. And, and at least for the time being, somebody's going to give them money because they're going to think, oh, he's, he's actually getting a job. Oh, my gosh. Rev, that's amazing. Like, you're full of shit, Rev. I don't buy it for a second. And um, if you really are out of cigarettes and in need of cigarettes so bad, then you really better do a good job at that job interview tomorrow. Because once you have a job, you can get have all of the cigarettes that you can afford. Um, let's see. Oh. Did they put, was this it? Let me see if they posted anything else on there. Um, the Losers Club. And she posted this, who is trolling you? And says truth. Let's watch this. Who is Stacy Sparkle Rainbow Heart? Hey guys, how you doing? Happy Monday. Happy Merry Monday. It's um, a storm here where I'm at. There's lots of snow and ice and hail going on, so driving really safe, working. Um, I just want to let you guys. Oh, I think I know who this is, actually. I think I recognize As no. Hope you're having a great day, one for one. Hello. And I just wanted to say about trolls in general. No fact. No fact. It's absolute fact there's trolls on YouTube. And always has been for whoever knows how long, probably. I wouldn't know. But anyways, years and years, and every time I felt in my gut, like I thought I knew who a troll was, um, just the way they talked or what their name was like, every single time I thought I knew for a fact from observing everything 
that I knew who a troll was. The trolls that were trolling me were good, like really good trolls, okay? I mean good in the fact that they had me believing at least a couple Shaw, thank you so much for the super chat. You said, uh, we're cigarette-less. Me, puffs on my new sour apple-flavored elf bar nicotine vape. Sucks to be you. <laughs> thank you, Shaw. Yeah, dude, they're pathetic. It's times now that it was somebody that it wasn't for years and how do I know that because they eventually they showed me one did in October and one did like a couple years ago um, they showed me who they were on video and that's how I knew I was wrong so I'm just gonna let you guys know that you're probably wrong when you think someone is trolling you, even if you feel like it's them strongly by the name, how they're talking. Um, because I was wrong <laughs> for years. Like I thought I knew who they were and I was shocked when they showed me who they were. Like someone, like nobody that I knew, like I never seen them before ever. Um, they're just a random person. So just let you know, 99.9% .9 of the time when you think you know who's trolling, you're usually getting fooled and they're probably laughing behind the screen. Okay? Just food for thought. Have a good day. Well, I mean, I don't disagree with that. Um, I think I recognize this chick. This is the same chick from this, I think. Do you guys... Um, this is a Please Notice Me video. We'll watch it real quick. Be careful. Trigger warning. This is kind of racy. This is going to show some skin in a minute. Hey, everybody. <clears throat> Stacy from Ontario, Canada. Turn up. Turn up. Um, I just want to learn how to twerk. And can anybody help me? Something like this. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Feel it down there. Is that kind of like, kind of right? Help me. My goal, my fun goal, before the summer, I want to learn how to twerk. But I am going on Stacy's panel tonight, and we are going to be talking. I don't know what we're talking about. I know she wants some help learning how to twerk. And since I'm one of the top out there, I, I think I can teach her a thing or two. You got you to gotta be able to jiggle your booty some. You know, it's not back and forth with. Be prepared. Shanny's going to twerk in a minute. The hips. No, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you, you gotta wiggle the booty a little bit. You know what I mean? In order to properly twerk, you just have to practice. To me, I guess it's kind of like you just gotta pretend that you're in doggy style and you just do the movements to it. Oh my goodness, that's hard. You're absolutely. Hello, Joe the Cat. How are you? Trying to teach people how to twerk, I think. Shannon's how to twerk 101. <laughs> Get yourself all loosened up in the bottom area. I don't know. I've been moving my hips like that since I was a little girl. You know, because I loved rap music. <laughs> So it's like, oh, I can do that. I can bounce my butt up and down. Yep, I did. You're cute. And I won that. And now I'm here with a makeup tutorial telling you how to twerk. Can you twerk on cam? I don't think you can twerk on YouTube and get away with it. No, not if you were to do it in an outfit that's appropriate for twerking. No, oh, I would have to, like, I think the best place to teach someone how to twerk would probably be Twitter. Here we go. gross <laughs> you can thank please notice me for that <laughs> in fact let me grab the link and while we're here you know i'm not gonna not play our song
Where's it at? Where's our song at? Here it is. Dance. Everybody dance. Sitting in my house that I grew up in With a big old horse with some big old hooves That won't get the fuck out of my bed She's me, here is blue She just wants to fuck with you She wants your money and she wants your cash And she don't want her kids cause she gave them away She made me cut my hair And shave off my eyebrows And that is what I get for living with a rose cow I'm the reverend to an individual. I ain't here to see who is wrong. I couldn't rhyme anything with individual because I can't think the same thought for three seconds. I'm real. I'm real, but I'm driving a car. I'm getting some gas and I'm buying some vapes and I'm gonna drink coffee all, all the fucking day. I'm real. The do with individual. I ain't got shit to do. I just sit around. Making shit up and waiting for aliens with you. Get on my YouTube, watch all my videos, send me money at my PayPal. I don't want to get a job, and if I got a job, I will freak everybody out. And you know it, I know it, they know it. The ghost of my motherfucking mother even knows it. That bitch is haunting the car. back to this this mess and then um yeah we'll go from there <laughs> i feel and that's it no it's way deeper than that and, and like i've told you before with this whole judge thing where i had to stand before a judge that that just really humbled me oh in really? terms of who i am as a person i never had trouble with the law because i keep my nose clean always bullshit Always. I never had a problem with the law before Shit. this stuff. And it's all you. If you... No, it's not, Rev. You get in trouble because of you. You and Shani. Like, you guys love to blame the internet for every... Like, no. 99.9% .9 of the time, it always is you. Like... You you can deflect and and uh, make excuses all you want, but it's clear. You are a troll that makes things up and then calls authorities making false police reports, which is what you're doing, and you are going to pay for it. Trust me, financially and or jail time, you're gonna pay for it. It's gonna happen eventually. Luke. Um, if you're talking about what I think you're talking about, hang in there. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. And hit me up on um Instagram. Because the cops know now even. The cops know that you are actively making false re police reports. They know it. They come here half the time kind of with a smirk and laughing because they know that this is all false. And they're along for the ride because it's kids, it's always kids. Oh my God, the children, you freak out about the children. Do you realize that the two boys in our case have literally had an extremely nice lifestyle for the last three years? And that's the truth. Now, wow. has there been trauma because of you people? Yes. Wow. They did leave, live a nice life for a few years. Although, even when they had what they had, you guys had them living in filth and being neglected. But, you know, they did have a, a good lifestyle in that sense. Then you got, then it went to complete, complete crap. And you guys didn't care. 
Your needs uh, have always come first. Have the extremely nice lifestyle for the last. And don't you dare be blaming it. You were kidding, Luke? Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad you were kidding. That makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> last three years and that's the truth now has there been trauma because of you people yes have there been a couple fights with me and shanny of course fight because guess what that's what happens in relationships no nope. there are times when you just you are not jiving right and it yeah i've had plenty of times like that my husband drives me nuts some of the time we get we have arguments and and don't always agree about things but you know what we don't do we don't scream at each other at the top of our lungs we don't throw shit around and break shit and we don't put our hands on each other or on anyone else so it, that's not normal sure having disagreements perfectly normal what you two do so far from normal so over the top and straight up toxic completely unhealthy and it, it could be because i'm in a shitty mood for oh my god i have plenty of reasons that i could be miserable but if you talk to people that know me in real life the guy the guy that that takes my coffee order at caribou and everybody else in my life they think i am one of the chillest guys they ever met and they're like oh my god where's jason been why hasn't Jason guy got, gotten his coffee? Well, I'm broke. That's why I'm not getting coffee. But that's not your issue. Your issue is starting to understand what it means to be an adult. And have an, an adult existence. Because I had, to do a to, I, I had to be tutored in that by God really quick. Yeah. Because I was mainly cloistered as a, as, as, as a kid and, and I didn't have to deal with much and I, I didn't have to think about much because my ma was always there. Exactly, Luke. I agree. I agree. You guys are wonderful. Thank you guys so much for always being so kind to people and to each other. Like that really, it warms my heart. And that, I know that sounds cheesy, but it's just a fact. Um, thank you guys for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are all awesome, amazing, and I feel truly blessed to know each and every one of you. I, I mean that. There for me. But when she passed, I learned that there isn't going to be a mommy there to, to, to coddle your ass uh, constantly. And that was the first thing that I looked at myself in the mirror. It was like the fittest I ever was in my life. I looked at myself in the mirror and my dad's go my dad's spirit came out and said, son, you got to grow up. Wow. You got to act like a, not a child anymore because you are not a child and you haven't been a child for a long time, but you sure have acted like one. This That's is, true. this is literally the talk that my dad had at me when I got out of that shower and I was looking at myself in the mirror right after my mom died and then that next day I had to get on the ball I had a list of things to do that long I had to go to JC Penny and shop for a dress for my deceased mother to put on her and if you don't think that that's one of the most painful things you'll ever do in your fucking life you're wrong it is it's I, one of the most painful I don't think anybody argues that fact Rev that lo losing your mom was hard on you. I don't think anyone's ever argued that fact. Oh, Luke, thank you so much for the super chat. You said you're all amazing. That is very true. Very true. And thank you so much for that, for sharing that. Even though you did scare me for a second. <laughs> but I got you. It. I get that it was a joke. So no worries there. Um, but thank you so much for the super chat and thank you for being here and thank you guys for being so kind um, and uh, caring to him when he did say that. <laughs> I know a couple of us were legitimately uh, concerned for a minute there. So um, I think that's actually awesome that you guys look out for each other. Full things 
memories that I have. I was literally crying in the J.C. Penney saying, I don't know what to do. My mom died and I don't know how to handle it. Right, TJ? And she was legitimately extremely like, wow, you know, I, I'm so sorry. I, like the woman was very nice in J.C. Penney. And she helped me find a nice purple dress. I buried my mom in purple because she's part of the priesthood of Jesus Christ as a believer. And I said she loved the color purple always. I was literally crying, you know. I, she loves the color purple. So, you know, I think this is a good choice. I do. I do. You know, when it comes to Rev, I do feel bad for him when I hear him talk about his mom and things like this. Uh, I do. I, um, as bad of a, of a person as he is become, um, I think that still had to be hard to go through. Um, he lost his dad at a young age and then, you know, the only, he is an only child. Well, the, and then the only other person he had in his life passed away when he was still fairly young, um, in life, you know what I mean? And, that definitely, um, you know, is something that I feel sympathy for him for. And that's why I think it's fucked up. If he isn't in on it, on all this stuff, with all this cancer talk that she does, like, it's, that's what makes that so messed up, is that he did go through all that, and she uses that and manipulates him with that, and that's really, really messed up. Yeah, Sam. I get where you're coming from that saying he's trauma dumping a bit. Yeah, I agree. But these, this is being an adult, okay? When your mother or father that you dearly love pass, that you immediately have to think, well, I got to do a funeral. I got to get, I got to get everything put together. I have to do the estate. I, I have to go to an attorney and set up a, uh, a, a trust fund or a, it's not called a trust fund it's it's uh, uh an estate fund uh that all the property that needs to be sold off gets sold off if there if that has to happen all it's there's so many things that you have to think of and it's immediate because if you don't take care of them immediately you get fees and all this stuff everything is money in this world and it's disgusting there's no consideration of the spirit of a person on this planet. And that's why Christ has to return to break the bonds of all of this garbage. Because people are motivated by their bellies, their egos, and their bank accounts. And they are not motivated by love or any form of godliness. This generation is the most wicked in the history of generations. Because I'm going to tell you, all of the horrible despots of history, all the horrible despots of history all thought that they were doing God a service. And you people are no different. You are, you are deliberately targeting two Christians and trying, trying to destroy their lives. Why? Because you think they're horrible people. You think you're doing God a service by getting us off this uh, this platform of YouTube when, when it's basically mainly mindless dog shit on YouTube. Mindless crap. But it's a great tool to maybe make some money at being a performer, entertainer, and that's what we wanted to do for you. Right. That's okay. what we continue to want to do for you. Ain't gonna happen. But do you realize how hard it is for an entertainer to do their craft when everything is always focused on your personal life and how bad you are, how bad you are. Can you please tell me what is bad about two people that are just trying to make it in life and maybe try and make a successful YouTube channel? What is abusive or horrible about this, folks? Can you tell me that? I just don't understand where you come up with these things. And it's literally fan fiction. These things that you say. There's this thing out there now that I have a DUI. I have never had a DUI. I was not charged with a DUI. Ever. Because I was not under the influence at the time. 
I have a leaving the leaving the scene of an accident charge, which has this. It's all over. All of this stuff that you still think is new and cool to talk about is over for me. I have already started moving on from these things, but you insist that Shani is still like this. This. And you know what I mean by that. You, because all you people can ever say to her is what about your behavior? What about, what about the way you are? Yeah, the way she is is the way she is because she was abused as a child by her parents, horribly neglected and treated like worse than a human being, worse than, worse than dog crap. No. Nope. Which is why she got out of that situation as soon as she could. Dude, what is going on Shani with that is, cracked lip? Like, oh, that looks painful. Is the farthest thing from a horrible person that you can imagine. She's as far from that as you can imagine. <clears throat> she is a girl that, had, that just had an open heart to ready to be loved as a child should be. By her parents. That's it. No child should ever have to go with no love because if they're coming into the world, there has to be a reason for it. And I don't care if, if you're talking about horrible things that happened. If you choose to have that child, then you should give them nothing but love, period, when they're being raised. Now, discipline comes in later. But kids, children deserve love. That's it. You start with love and then you build. But Shani did not get that. So what you're doing is penalizing a woman that has a major mental illness because of abuse. Luke, thank you so much for the super chat. You said shout out. Carrie's chat is hella supportive. Yes, they are. Yes, you guys are. Thank you so much. Thank you, Luke, for the super chat. And thank you guys again for being wonderful people. You guys are the best. From parents. What is and she you screaming in the background here? Let me go back. Hold on. Penalizing a woman that has a major mental illness because of abuse from parents. And you are destroying any kind of chance that this woman could have a rehabilitation of her spirit and person where where the abuse don't matter anymore that that she 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 finally got her head above water and 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 and, and she can feel successful and 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 sprout the wings and be the be the amazing girl that she was always meant to be but she was held down and depressed by her parents so you are literally mental illness shaming a woman. No. That needs love. No. Nope. That's all she needs is love. So everybody that is continuing to harass this woman, you have to ask yourself again. I've checked your spirit so many times now, it's crazy. And you always come back at exactly what you are, your demons. I rebuke every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. You're done. Wow. What a loser. All right. So I figured um, just in case some of you were not here earlier in the beginning of the stream to see Shani uh, talk about her appointment she had today, I figured we'll play this one more time. Give everybody a chance again to uh, see this in case somebody had not. Um, I just want to show you, this is what they, like, put on your wounds, I guess. Um, I guess to give more attention to the areas, but they put it around your wounds. This, like, little sticker thing when you get a mammogram. Um, it like started out like um she said put your arms down so i put my arms straight and um she flattened my boob on on this table with this like 
plastic like screening area very much like an x-ray in a way how it twists and stuff and then um then they did the they they twisted the machine on the lateral side so i i got the other breast you, you know one like they they do the top of the breast and take a picture there and then they do the side of the breast and take a picture on it but these little things are what they put around the wounds or the lumps or whatever um when you have your mammogram it's kind of interesting um so these were on my, i had a bunch of them i have like a whole stack of them putting it around my wounds like the just a whole stack of a bunch of little stickers they put around when i had my mammogram but um i'm just waiting for the results and and seeing what they have to say um and then i guess we'll go to the next step after that but um i will say for people who've never had a mammogram it wasn't painful at all um i could see how much pounds of pressure they were like it was on the um the side of the machine they were doing the mammogram on but they were pressing my boobs on uh on 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 my right side it was like 35 pounds of pressure they put on my right side and then on my left side of my breast they put 55 pounds of pressure on it so um yeah i feel fine um like right before they take the picture they take they tell you to like hold your breath right before it and it was it was kind of like in the middle of my mammogram i kind of i i started having a uh heat flash so i had to like stop and sit down because i felt like i was about to freaking pass out um i'm wondering if it was nerves or something but i did do it hi nashi by the way how are you babe um but yeah i did it um get your boobies checked if you have a lump um, or you have a wound that doesn't heal, it's not as scary as, um, some people put it, you know, but yeah, this is what they put around your, the, like, wounds that you have if you're going to get checked for breast cancer, um, <laughs> when do you get your results? Probably soon. The next couple days. Um, mm -hmm. So. We got that done. So I'll let you guys go. Oh Bruce. Thank you so much for the super chat. You said Rev and Shani blame death. Their mothers. Their haters. While expecting free gifts, I've never heard them identify their worst enemies themselves. If they never do that, they'll never become adults. That is so true. So, so true. Thank you so much, Bruce, for the super chat. I completely agree with you. I don't think they're ever going to become adults. I don't see it happening. Um... Is there anything you want to say, honey? No, cigarettes. He wants cigarettes, so if you would like to provide the husband with cigarettes, I guess you could go to PayPal at Rev Dude and help him out because he wants some cigarettes. I love you, But I should be getting Loser. the doctor the doctor's results soon and we'll find out what happens after that. Um I love you, Shady. I love you, Shady. <laughs> Beautiful. But yeah, this is. I like that they have flowers on it. Kind of like makes it not as like stressful getting your boobs done. <laughs> and mammograms.
But it, may God protect your mommy makers, <laughs> milk, <laughs> your mommy milkers. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. All right. I'll let you boogers go. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, chill out. I love you. You guys have a wonderful day. Peace and Maranatha, guys. Okay. Let's see. Um, oh, yeah. I was going to show you guys um, her community tab for anyone who hasn't seen that. Oh, and there's an... I'll show you another one. There's another one by Rev that um, he made as well. Um, Shaw, thank you so much for the super chat. You said... Just asked Mama Shaw, and she told me those flowers are general markers they put on everyone that gets a mammogram. Nothing special or unusual. Thank you very much for sharing that, and thank you for the super chat, Shaw. Yeah, because your mom, um, uh, she did suffered from cancer uh, as well at some point, right? Um, and she's okay now, though, which is uh, awesome. Um, so after Shani went live with that stream, just watched a couple later, puts this short out. Hey guys, what's up? It's, it's, uh, Rev here. Uh, I'm just, uh, asking for some prayer right now because I got a job interview tomorrow. It's pretty much like, I mean, for an in-person interview like this, it's going to be like the first time I'm doing something like this. I know it's crazy, but I had a my life went it the way it did, and I never had to do this before. So, um, I'm just asking for some some prayers for guidance and um, mental health. Let's put it that way. Um, I'd really appreciate it. If you'd like to help us out, my PayPal is um, at RevDude, R-E-V-D-U-D-E. If you'd like to help us out, uh, we're cigaretteless. So, <laughs> okay. Um, thank you, guys. Uh, onward and upward, I guess. Hey, guys, what's up? It's, it's uh, yeah. Rev here. Yeah. I don't believe for a second that he's got a friggin... <laughs> job interview like nah homie i'm not buying that um all right i guess we'll watch a couple more um i wonder some of you have you guys seen um the stream where rev it's the night that he got out of jail and uh he makes a couple of videos out when he's out of his mind and calls me a cunt in them. Have you guys seen those? They're short. Let me pull that up real quick. We'll watch those really quick. <laughs> quick. We'll watch a couple of shorter things real quick and then I'm going to wrap it up. Um, all right. Let's see. This is part one. Here we go. Hey, 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 hey. You know, fresh. I was a slammer and I'm just like completely randomly on the road and I can't have this on all the time. Whoa, I like that light. It's neat. You can still see my face and hear my voice and shit. But oh, I you know what? Uh, Nine Lives of Shanny, you asked, can you show us what they wasted their money on? There is a couple of streams actually where they do hauls um, on the fat. It's the Fat Courtney Love channel. I've reviewed them before, but I can definitely go over them again. But what I'm thinking about doing is putting together a, you know, playlist in a stream where I show different things that they've bragged about through the years and, and kind of break down where a lot of their money went. So be on the lookout for that. I, I'm, I'm going to try to do that pretty soon because you're not the only person that's asked that and wants to know more about where where all the money went. So I will uh, try to make that happen for you. I'm in the baby and, and I can't have this on all the time. 
And just as a backstory, this is the night that he got out of jail and he was supposedly at this time running with the narrative that he's not there and that he's staying, uh, you know, hours and hours away in Southern PA at some guy's, some friend of his uh, vacant lot that he can use and, you know, sleeping in his car, which we know that would, Rev would never do that. But he's not. He's in the driveway of their house when he's doing all this. But I had just gotten done exposing them um, earlier in the day when Shani, uh, you know, sent me the text saying that she just had sex with Rev when he wasn't supposed to be there in the first place and the kids were literally crying. Um, so that's what triggered him to make. She made a few videos that day about me because of it and that's what triggered this video these videos by him as well blah, blah, blah. sorry kind of rambling here oh i like that light it's neat you can still see my face and hear my voice and shit but i'm in the baby and and i uh, by by the grace of god i got some gas in the tank and this thing is so amazing on gas because it's an old engine v8 and it purrs like a kitten. Just purrs. And he's talking about the Cadillac that they have. Because he supposedly wasn't, uh, you know, driving the uh, Durango at the time. My dad loved cars. And I know definitely that if he were alive in my life. This is like a vlog video. Got low battery. Gotta go low power mode. Damn. Okay barely see me let's do this for for the sake it's very minimal power yeah there we go that's cool i don't know how much or whatever proof that you want that i am not at the place that i was that's the stamps the gps information may still be there because I'm on a disconnected device from, from 5G and everything, I just get on Wi-Fi. I'm not on, I'm not on any, uh, how you call it? <laughs> That's what my grandfather Davis used to always say. By the way, he's really, really unhinged in these, so <laughs> be prepared for that. Oh, shit. I gotta scroll all the way back down again. Hold on. Here we go. Part two. My, my grandfather Davis used to say, hi, I call it. So, but part two, I, I pressed pause. Shit. This is gonna be Carrie, part two. So Carrie, you know, you had the community uh, up in arms, and rightfully so, over me calling you the C word, which is unacceptable to do. It's a, it's a slander I would put on the level of the, the T word and the, the S word, the, you know, the, the S word that ends with T, and it's not slut. And that's another one don't use. Because women of the night is a, is a legitimate uh, career, so we don't shame that. This is going to be kingdom economy stuff, too. And in this video now, I'm going to take the opportunity to announce my new beliefs in terms of what should happen on planet Earth. And this is really going to shock some people, and, and if you want to do a reaction video to this, and this is on Carrie, but I'm going to drop this here for somebody like Veckel. And I view you as a brother. I love you. I, I know that you, you believe one way, but gee, man, you know, he's going he's gonna to make it understood, you know. I can shut these off. Uh, off. There we go. You always got to be mindful of your, your battery usage, and it's always good to do, you know what I mean? So. Like, what, what do you think he's on? Because I'm thinking some kind of speed. I'm announcing in this video that I now am an anarcho-communist <laughs> in the earthly economy, 
and pol political, the governmental, political, and financial system that should govern at a baseline for the world. This is going to shock a lot of my Christian brethren. I want you to understand that this in no means means that I have left Jesus Christ. This is not the case. Jesus Christ is who kept me alive in the jail. And I have testimony of that from, from a brother that's a fellow Christian up there. And he went, wow, this is Jonathan Kleck level, wow, miracle stuff that happens with the body of Christ. And I'm sorry if it's overmodulated. I just want to be heard. Turn down your, turn your stuff down. But there's the purr of the, I got to show you. What the fuck? Uh. What the fuck? You know, I just thought of it. I got like video editor on this. I could just paste this together. But I don't know what proof you need, folks, that I'm not there. Okay, negative evidence, whatever. Unless you get somebody, you know, it's nuts. Anybody comes near that property, do you know that you guys have caused so much shit that that property, the one I used to be at, that my love is, is she, she's protected by the police. Shani currently has police protection at the address. I highly suggest you don't go there. I'm not there, and I never can be. I will go back to the clink immediately if I ever went there. I have learned because I walked uh, to the convenient. I had a couple bucks. I got I got like a cigarette, the the fucking black and mild cigar. And I say, got a pack of matches. I got a pack of matches. I didn't need that though. I got the car. I got the I got the cigarette lighter in the car that works, and everything works in this beautiful thing. It's fucking amazing, and I own it. It's mine. I love it. It's so beautiful, and I could I could sleep in here easy. That's that's it, because the sleep, when you have schizoaffective with with on top, I have schizo. I have. I don't think I have Rev, to do that. I'm just gonna. You are like the worst of the worst liar. The worst. Oh man. Hold on a second, guys. <clears throat> Hold on one second. Can you guys still hear me? Man, that's frustrating. Can you guys, you can hear me? Okay. Um, anyway, I don't even know what, what I was saying now. I accidentally pressed something and it, uh, thought it was about to close me out of the whole thing. Let's get back into it. <laughs> I have this proper, okay. Like CSI, you know. I gotta sit up in my seat. Let's let's do this a tilt upward, folks. Let's, at ease, soldier. Yeah, that's that's better. I'm not a midget. It's just this seat is luxurious. Luxurious. This is what you call a gentleman's car. That's just the way it is. So, let's get a little more light. How's this gonna look? Uh, this this button sticks a bit. There we go. Even a little better. Okay. So. The GPS and the stamps and stuff, the metadata might still be where I was at because I, I, I have my methods. Just I'll say thank that. you, Mama, too. But I'm not there. Uh, I think, and yeah... I was walking. I I got I got the thing that said that I asked at the counter at at the at the uh, it was like a Valero I think I walked there from where I parked the car. Oh, I love and this. And I asked the guy. Listen to this. He is about to make the weirdest sounds that you guys have ever heard. I need to clip this and like use these as uh, sounds on my channel and stuff for like super chats or something. Because oh my god, just prepare yourself for this. Could you tell me what city I'm in? He's like, well, you're 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 close to Lancaster. I'm like, wow, I thought that. He's like, yeah, you must have good sense of compass. I'm like, no, I'm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>
He just went, well, okay, brother. He could tell I was a Christian. You know, I, I kind of, I could pull off the Amish thing with this a little bit and this and this. And, and then I got John Grishala saying, yeah, you could be a yid. <laughs> That's horrible to say, you know. Like, why would what, what you? It's a that? pejorative in this. Listen. And, and then I got John Grishala saying, yeah, you could be a yid. <laughs> That's horrible to say, you know. Like, why would you? Like, what is that? It's a bit in this and this. And, and then I got John Grishala saying, yeah, you could be a yid. <laughs> That's horrible to say, you know? Like, why would you? It's sort of weirdness. Oh, God. And the time these are two videos that, just, that I'm showing you, this one and the last one, is Carrie. Carrie number one, Carrie number two. Like, he's went this whole time and he's barely said a damn thing about me. It's bizarre. You know, really no need for it. But back to the subject, which is Carrie. Hey, Carrie, you know, I called you out, didn't I? Because I knew it. Lights go out because, you know, hey, Carrie, you know. Yeah, man. I knew you were that. <gasps> what is going on? See, Look at him. I knew you were that. And, and... You didn't like that I saw it. And you're like, oh, how dare you? I called you out. See, Shani does the same thing, and that's why every... By the way, he's talking about calling me a cunt. Um, in fact, I can show you guys that next if you want. Um, because uh, I told him back in the day uh, on one of their streams when he's begging for money... I uh, said, why haven't you gotten, why haven't you applied for the post office? And that was enough for him to call me a cunt. So that's what he's referring to in this video that he's talking about right now. Do it. Lights go out because, you know, hey, Gary, you know, yeah, man, I knew you were that. See, I knew you were that, and, and you didn't like that I saw it. And you're like, oh, how dare you? I called you out. See, Shani does the same thing, and that's why everybody hates Shani, including you. Because you were exposed to be the C-U-N-T that you actually are. Goodbye. All right, here. I'll play, this is going to be the last thing that I'm going to play, but I will play, let you guys, uh, for any of you that have not heard him call me a cunt, let's listen to him call me a cunt. That's always a good time. Let's see, I do think it's down here a ways. Thank God for XX Archives and channels like that. They are awesome makes our job as reaction channels very very easy all right let's see which one is it it's around here somewhere here it is all right let me see let me go because the beginning's kind of boring let's see message we no gotta hear way. it i don't believe it it might be just from his fan if for his fans 6.2k fans on bucks i want i love nick all right all right here we go here's the deal we know that money doesn't grow on trees. and sorry for the um, the sound quality for this because it's not good it is definitely not good <laughs> i want one of these hoodies they're like probably 50 bucks i want i love nick all right here's the deal we know that money doesn't grow on trees. They say, Rev, fuck you, get a job. I want it. I am going to do that. Okay, I promise you. But you oh, need a did you hear that? I really do. There's Rev, get field. a job. Oh, I'm going to. We know that money to. doesn't grow on trees. I'm they going say, to, Rev, I fuck promise. You get yeah, right. You're not getting to get a job. Such a fucking liar, dude. I want one of these hoodies. They're like probably 50 bucks. I want, I love Nick. All right. Here's the deal. 
We know that money doesn't grow on trees. They say, Rev, fuck you, get a job. I want it. I am going to do that. Okay, I promise you. But I need a vehicle. I really do. There's Most of the things that I have to do are at least one to two, three miles away. Okay? I can't be walking everywhere. What I've been doing around one mile radius or whatever. Okay? I've been footing it. I'm getting my cardio, so it's probably good for my heart. And you meet people, too. It's cool. You walk and you sometimes cool people. Like, hey, what's up? You start talking, you meet someone new, and that's awesome. You know, that's like an achievement in Grand Theft Auto. New contact, you know, that goes in your phone. That's cool. Anyway. What? The fact is that our tire was mutilated by somebody. We have a description from our son. We have a description of the person. We're pretty sure we know who did it. <coughs> there are not cameras. <coughs> yeah. There's no cameras in the back. So... We may have footage across the street. Maybe. We'll see. Liar. Um, I don't believe it. I think the house is vacant over there. There's just work being done on it. I'm not sure. So, the police are going to have to get involved probably in this eventually. But I need a vehicle. So, $350 goal, guys. And you guys are awesome. You're really amazing. We're cutting our 48 stream, like, in half pretty much. Well, not in half, but... It's usually 500 for a 48-hour yeah. stream. Yeah. Where the hell is my phone? But it's we're right just charging right. 350 for our tires right now for the 48-hour stream. Because um, we need help. Yeah. The thing is, everything you guys know, okay, everything is so expensive now. What Did you look into a used tire, though? The cheapest that I can get the tire is 200 bucks. Is then that's what the fundraiser's for. The tire... Yeah. The tire itself is two hundred. Okay. Bullshit. I need to tow it there, which is another hundred, and then there's going to be other costs guaranteed for service. So total, it would be three fifty. Now, if the service is more than fifty dollars, I'm going to have to find a few bucks to put together to have the rest of the money. But that three fifty, I think, is going to cover everything: the tire, the tow, and the labor. I think will be good. Why won't you apply online to post officers? So, Jesus Christ. There it is. Did you hear it? Listen, this is where I said it. And the labor, I think, will be good. Why won't you apply online to post officers? So, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you for that. He doesn't know what the fuck to say. He doesn't want to talk about How his... How would I go for that? Wait, wait, wait. Just, let me just... Listen, guys. Wow. He doesn't want to go and talk about where he works or anything personal like that because people stalk. So even if he did apply to the post office, he wouldn't tell you due to how well, that, stupid yeah, people are like. Yeah, that's true. I don't want anybody to know what I'm doing in my personal life, number one. So if I had a job already, I wouldn't want you to know it, Carrie. <laughs> that I don't know it all. Carrie. Carrie. Then don't beg for money. I have no fucking car to get my wife's medicine. Okay, guys, just stop. She's a fucking cunt. Just there stop. I don't have a car to get my... I have no fucking car to get my wife's medicine. Okay, guys, just stop. She's a fucking cunt. Just stop. I don't have a car to get my wife's medicine. Just stop. $20 ride in Uber per mile. Just stop. And then he called me a fucking, fucking bitch. And then he calls me a cunt again in a second. Jeez. Get me off the screen. Get me off the screen. I'm done with yes, this. Yes, I, I. Fuck you, I carry here, fucking punk. Jason William, will you stop? Apologize. No way. Asshole, are you? Stop it. No. I'm done. I won't. You won't hear me again. I promise. I'm done. I apologize. No, I'm done. You won't hear me again. I promise. I'm sorry for the offense. I see. I said I'm sorry. Sorry for the offense, but you won't hear me again. Because I'm done with that bullshit. That's what I'm getting. What a fucking child.
and I, I, I think it is time for men to stop using that word onto women to degrade them. I'm not happy with him. I'll just say that. But, but seriously, I am going to ask you not to use that word or talk to my audience like that ever again. Because I don't appreciate it. Okay? If your mental health is getting away with how you're treating people, maybe you should remove yourself from said scenario. That's what I did. I love you. I love you too. But do better. Yeah, I love you too. Because I don't like that shit. No, I hate it too. That's that's why I always it, after it happens I always feel like crap. Because take me off the screen, please, because I'm having my pipe. Because I'm having uh, my pipe. I always I always hate myself after outbursts like that happen. That's why I need to to have a psychiatrist or whatever. That that's what I need. So I'm sorry. And I'm gonna get help. You know. Wait. All right. In May, June. I don't know. Men need to be taught how to treat women, period. And I don't care how anyone takes that. Um. <laughs> I could say so many things like that, and I would say I don't care how nobody takes it, but I do care. I do care. I, I, I definitely care how I'm treated and how people around me are treated. Because, see, like it or not, we're together, so what you say is a reflection onto me, and I don't want to be reflected like that. Like it or not, yeah. So, it embarrasses me. I mean, I, do you realize I had a really good reputation in the fucking prophecy community? Yeah, but why, okay. can't, you, why can't you let me have a good reputation? Why, why, okay. why is it okay for you to control... I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just, I, why is it okay for you to be able to control your tongue when you're doing prophecy, but you can't control your tongue when you're doing my show? That's kind of disrespectful, don't you think? I was <laughs> your tongue. Yeah. I love I that. Heard. Okay. Paying audience members, sure. That's why I apologized, okay? I apologize for it. Can we move on? I'm sorry the outburst happened. Thank you. Yes, absolutely, because I love you, and I don't want to be like that ever. That's yeah. shitty. I, I, it, it's called being a professional. Yeah, it, you're right. And I fucked up. Okay, I'm sorry. Like, you do that at a job, you're gonna get fired. That's why the doctor said you should be on disability, kid. Here we go. Like, people aren't gonna handle that type of behavior. Exactly, that's Here why I get fired. Here comes excuses, excuses. Because I have those stupid outbursts for no reason. A bunch of like fucking excuses. It's, it's like a child would do that. Yeah. You know, what, a bold, petulant kid in, in school that's had disciplinary issues. That's weird. Why the hell do I have that? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, so if you can control your tongue doing your prophecy channel, yeah. you can control your tongue on my channel. Of course I can. Yes. Control I was, your tongue, Jason. I just was going up and down the hill today, and I, lots is on my mind. I, I understand. I'm sorry. But please be self-aware of what comes out of your mouth. I have to be. This. If it's mean, yeah. if it's nasty, it. if it's condescending, don't if it's it. negative, don't say it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a child. I know these things. It's just when my when when I feel threatened or offended, I can say shit that's really stupid. Then You're, try not to be offended by everything. You yeah. are a why, child, why Rev. Yeah, you are. Because, it, because other people have a way of looking at this, and I understand that. Yeah, most people work. Well, of course, I understand that fucking shit. Do you though? I don't think you do understand you know? that, Rev. So, we'll get through this, guys. Yeah, a doctor told my he told me and my mother when can I put your face? Yeah, on? yeah, you can now. I'm sorry. I was in 2004. I was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder, and both my my general practitioner doctor, the psychologist at the time, and uh, like authorities that were involved with it all agreed they said kid you're gonna have issues going forward in your life it's a guarantee because we see your, they did a brain scan of me and everything okay they had like probes in my head studying my brainwave activity 
because I was like half, almost catatonic, completely almost. So, I don't know if I believe said, all this either. Look, you're going to have issues going forward, so we're going to file this paperwork ahead of time for you. And if you want to put it in, you can do it right now. If not, hold off, go ahead. Try and live your life and see how you are after you get out of here. Because the doctor said, yeah, he can go. He's not a uh, danger to himself or others. I was in a mental ward in Carbondale at Marion Community Hospital is the name of the hospital. And they diagnosed it and said, yeah, here's your disability papers. File them now if you want. But that's it. You see what they're saying? I have mental illness, too. It's not an excuse. And they're not saying that to put no, pressure they're on you. Curious. They're, they're saying that because they, they with mental illness, have, have, have done similar like things yeah, in the past. But, you ha but listen, this is what a therapist will tell you, okay? Because we've all been through it. You've never, you haven't gone through it yet. Mm -hmm. But a therapist will tell you, you got to learn how to control your actions and your reactions to things. Well, I already know these things. That, maybe that means I'm not as mentally ill as I thought. I just have to have somebody walk me through coping s sober or get me on medication because the mania is what causes this it's mania no rev but anyway this was a different it's thing it's you I felt being a spoiled because brat I know, i've already said to you folks oh elementals like this is therapy jason yeah we've all gone through therapy so this is kind of like DBT. group therapy yeah yeah well let me make it understood why i reacted this way because i've already make it made it understood to folks on my channel Next that thing. I agree with you Doing that the I need thing. to get employment. Okay, I agree. I have severe anxiety that I have to get under control, and as soon as that's under control, I'll have nothing to worry about. I think I'd be able you know to what? handle I a job Whoa. I you when I get medicated. Why are what do people why not do they understand have to yell? about this? God, Here. listen to that. If your anxiety, <laughs> take some Benadryl. Oh, I forgot what? about this. Jesus. I know what to give you. When I get medicated, I have severe anxiety that I have to get under control, and as soon as that's under control, I'll have no need to get employment. Okay? I agree. I have severe anxiety that I have to get under control, and as soon as that's under control, I'll have nothing to worry about. I think I'd be able to You know to what? Handle I a job. I know what to give you. When I get medicated. I what know. do people not understand about this? Here. If your anxiety, <laughs> take some Benadryl. No, I don't need this yet. I'm going to smoke in Delta. No, honey, take the Benadryl. I want to smoke Delta. I know. Take that with the Delta. It will calm your ass down. All right, fine. Now, now, all of us who have dealt with anxiety knows that Benadryl really helps with anxiety if you don't have any anti-anxiety meds. People need to learn mercy. Because a lot of anti-anxiety meds are like over-bloated uh, Benadryl. No, they're not. So, no, they're not. Can we, Shani? Jan, They're not overbloated Benadryl. And, Gamora and, and in hospitality and Benadryl. An idiot. So. Can we, Shani? Uh, Shani. Somebody needs a lesson on Sodom and Gomorrah and, and in hospitality and unkindness. That's all I'm saying, man. <laughs> Honey. No mercy for the weak. You're going to be okay. Just calm down. Sure, but I'm just saying. Just don't get defensive when someone says their own opinion. Not, uh, yeah, I was defensive. That's true. But can we have some mercy in the house of God? I do breathe in. Benadryl can make anxiety worse. Not for him. Not for me. No way. This is, like, very good. Sudafed, too. I'm Trump. Like, Sudafed. What? Trump. Calm what down. does Sudafed have to do with Trump? Okay, calm, calm down. down after I want you to calm down because I love you and you're on edge and and since you have schizoaffective disorder it's a lot like bipolar so we got to try to disarm you because you think everyone's out to get you and we're not we care for you I have mania I definitely have mania Okay, you have mania. No, I have schizoaffective and I believe bipolar disorder. Both. Well, schizoaffective disorder is like bipolar. Mimics it. Yeah. Then I. That's it's it. It's a mood disorder with uh, temporary schizophrenic-like effects. I had a mental evaluation, and that's the conclusion they came to. Yeah. 
Are people going to call me a liar? I have to show my medical records. No. I don't give a shit. No. I'm telling you, I was diagnosed with it in 2004. Would you advise Benadryl if, he, if I had some Ativan for him? Yeah. I'd take an Ativan. I know what I'd give him an Ativan. I know what they feel like. I never had one. I bet I you do like. know what they feel I like. I'd take an Ativan, definitely. I have anxiety. He's willing to take them now. Trust me, Carrie. I never said I wouldn't take an Ativan. No, you said you wouldn't take SSRIs. That's not an SSRI, is it? Mm -mm. No. That's anti-anxiety anti medication. Yes. Right? Yeah. No, yeah, but no, I wasn't SSRI. talking about anxiety medication. Fuck it. It can be addictive, so it's very highly controlled. They'll probably give you like 10 pills for the month. Now he's going to face the corner like a little baby. Yep. Old Pepsi bottle. That's the shit. What do they give for schizoaffective disorder? Usually anti anxiety, no. antidepressants, and uh, 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 antipsychotics. Bingo. That's what they had me on. They had me on Zyprexa, which is an antipsychotic medication. How'd you feel on it? horrible you were just adjusting to it so no more suicidal i was a, two weeks into it okay you can't say that word gotta be careful <sighs> carrie says she takes the anti-psychotic yeah, good for Carrie. So, um... I mean, she has all the answers, doesn't she? Well, good. she goes through the same thing you go through. All right. Well, if that's what I end up on, I've been waiting for mental He's health. such a dick. Me. Like, he is such a dick. Even after him calling me a cunt and everything, I was still being cordial. Cordial. And I was still being like, you know what? Don't be ashamed or whatever to take an antipsychotic. Like, I take one. It's okay. It doesn't... Like, it's not a bad or negative thing um i'm on uh an antipsychotic because i suffer from ocd and so it's not just for like schizophrenics or people that are hearing voices in their head like and it's like there's this stigma and obviously rev you know buys into that stigma that these medications are you know something to be embarrassed about taking and ashamed or whatever and it's not like that at all and they actually can really help you function a lot better in life so if don't be like rev if you're suffering and you're actually struggling like he claims to be then give the medication a chance um it takes time for it to start working it may not be the right medication for you there's a lot of different medications out there so if one doesn't work, you just try the next one with your doctor's help and advice. And um, I know just speaking for me, it's made my life a lot more manageable. So. I know. People like, have really? short-term memory. Yeah, apparently they do. Well, these are people who have trauma, dear. Fine. Well, I know they watch us on a regular basis, and they know this is the case with me. I've been trying to get mental help for a year. Yeah. And there's no help. It's okay, Jason. There's no help. It's okay, Jason. You're taking offense again. They are offensive. No, they're trying to help they you. Are I see them trying to help you. I don't you. care. We I'm... like to discuss psychology, and you're taking offense to no. it. No. I'm moving on, though. I'm literally moving on. And what I'm saying is I want help. And I've been pursuing help, and there's been nothing. Because it's wait, wait, wait. And then they cancel your appointments. Bullshit. Because it's liar. Really, that's the problem, I believe. You're a liar. I think that's it. <sighs> Pretty simple. Is it depressing? Does it suck? Yeah. But a lot of people are going through this, the same crap I am. That's for sure. The same crap Shani's going through. She wants to get her PT done. She can't. They close all PT because of COVID. It's still like that. Wow.
I need to call them and see what's the update on that. Yeah, you can probably get back now, probably. Oh, I can't wait to go back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Because I really want to go back. She never went in the first place. I'm be willing to bet. I money. really want to go back. I can tell. Without a doubt, I can tell. <coughs> Look up lamp. Lamictal. It's a uh, medication for bipolar. Wow. Fucking guru. <coughs> huh. It could, you know, we could say that it's urgent. They, See they, what they do. They want fifty dollars. We'll we'll figure out how to get <coughs> it. Okay. Before any of this, I need to be able to drive again. Yeah, I know. Period. Yeah, before anything, we need to drive again. Before anything, that's it. Like I'm not trying to be whatever. Things aren't right down the road. Everything isn't just right down the road. Mm -hmm. No I shit. I need a mode of transportation. Shanny can't walk any distance. We need a vehicle, so, and I don't, I'm not asking you to buy me a fucking car. I'm saying somebody from the community put my tire out. No, you're not asking for That's for people to buy you a car, but you're asking for hundreds of fucking dollars. That's just one time, one stream. Like, don't act like you're not asking a lot of people. You are what happened somebody from the community that lives around here put my tire out with rebar and i'm asking kind people to put, donate to put 350 together nobody did that so you that got a flat tire and you drove on it to get the job as soon as humanly friggin possible dude lies and i'll be getting help as soon as humanly possible so i have no delusions i'm an adult i can think i i have a thought process i'm not that messed up on medicated i'm pretty with it on medicated uh, I can think. Could have fooled me. Please don't say that, Elemental. But that's that's it. Yeah, that actually they did. You see? See? There's Ugh. huge holes in the. Okay. Right, Carrie? You know what, guys? I think I'm going to have to end this live stream early because someone's not feeling too good right now. I'm fine, man. I'm just going to watch Buffy. Yeah, I don't feel like being embarrassed. Wow. So I'm gonna go and let this guy calm down. What the hell? I'm I'm sorry for everyone for that behavior. Oh my god. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> um Would you guys like to see uh Rev's uh response to that? Uh, what we just watched, his apology stream. Here, let me pull it up. I'm surprised, like, I was thinking, I was staying on here and watching some extra stuff because I was thinking they might go live again since she was kind of short and to the point the first time, but I guess they are not going to. So, once we're done with this, I'm officially going to be done for sure for good next time Sorry. just can't leave you guys all right sorry about that i was muted so how you doing tonight guys um i want to apologize this is like very serious and i want to be sincere and, and accurate about everything okay all right 
I want to be really clear. I want everybody to be able to hear me okay. And I want to sincerely do this. And number one, what's number one before anything gets started? Okay, no wrestling tonight. No, this is, I put it on this channel because this is where the most people will see it first. How you doing guys? Okay, now anybody that, that was not at Shanny's, okay? Anybody that wasn't over at Shanny's won't know what I'm talking about here, but I'll tell you what happened, okay? I recently, the car is in a state where I can't use it, right? So I've been walking a lot and I've been thinking and my mind has been going a lot because like medication is, we have it, then we don't have it, then we need it and I get it and we have it for a while and then we don't. So, you know, there's these times where I'm not, I don't got nothing and my mind races manically crazy. And that's where I've been. I've been walking a lot of places. And um, let's just say that that my mind has been uh, scattered because I, I'm just not sure of the future. I'm trying to see the future. I think I see it a little bit clearer. But the stress level of this is like a 20. Do you know what I mean? On a 10 scale to 20? Because I'm not, I'm just being straight with you, okay? I'm real, I'm just scared about the future for the, our family. That's just a, a straight up statement that I feel. Now, what happens with me? Oh, Rev, you have no idea how worried you should have been. No idea. <laughs> Is that I can... No, the, it's 200 for the tire, nude first lady. Oh, nude first lady. That's funny. It's uh, 200 for the tire, it'll be 100 for the tow, and then pro more than 50 probably for service, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm not discussing that right now. Okay. Tire's 200. Uh, what happened tonight is that I was in a mind state, I think, already of feeling sort of down. In, I'm kind of mid right now because I'm medicated. I have some med medicine in me. But at the same time, I saw a comment that fucking just triggered the shit out of me. And it shouldn't have because it was not the, 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 the way it was written. Right. I, I should have seen that it was not intended as an attack from this from this uh, one of Shani's uh, members named Carrie. And I want to apologize especially to her because that's who it was directed at. But I need to apologize to Shani too because I don't want to ever disrespect her in any way. And I just felt attacked for some stu- This is something that I have to talk to a head doctor about. Is that I've always had this in my life. Once I got to get a drink, I'm sorry. I need caught up. Yeah, I'm Okay. The ASMR thingy. It's the nitro. It's Starbucks. It hisses. So what happened tonight? And and see, every time this stuff happens, I'm like almost ashamed. And I should be because this is stuff that I should already be cognizant of. That's true because I'm, I'm, th I'm going on 38. <sighs> so I should be able to deal with these things much better than I already, than I am now. So I'm telling you that I know that I am the problem in this case. Okay. You have no illusion. I have no illusions at all. I have no illusions. I am aware that me, it was in my head to take that as an attack because my, it's fear. Do you know that? Okay. We're getting to the core of what the matter is. Okay. The core of the matter is fear because I'm not sure what's happening right now. I know. So go take it out on no, that's what I'm saying. That's what's wrong. That's what's obviously not okay at all to happen. It's not okay at all to happen. For me as an individual to be dealing with emotional shit and looking to the future stuff and thinking and thinking in mania, in a manic state, that does not excuse me saying the C word to you or using any kind of bad derogatory term to talk you down. And I know this, okay? I am very aware that the behavior that I displayed tonight was just unacceptable behavior by anybody's standard, okay? Sometimes my mind can race so fast with thoughts that I can say something and I don't even realize what the hell I said to someone. And there's a voice shit that happens from time to time and it's that sporadic. I've got to grab something to drink really quick, guys. I'm going to let this play. I'll be right back. It's totally sporadic. But it's usually at a point where it's like the stress is peaked and it's just like a steam pipe out the top of my head and I've got the shakes and stuff. You know, that would be panic attack level stress. That's when I start hearing shit and seeing shit. Okay. That's what I deal with. And I'm going to get the help because I have to. I mean, it's a miracle that Shani doesn't walk out because it's BS. It's going to mess up her career and I don't want to do that. 
She's a severely talented woman that deserves to have a place on platforms to speak because she's good at it. And then you have this guy in right here that has been dealing with a lot, but it's no excuse. I've been dealing with a lot, but that if you're dealing with a lot, Jay, why don't you just maybe leave the room if you're feeling overwhelmed or if you feel attacked? Hold it. Don't say anything. Get up, walk away and take a breath and walk and just talk it out. Did she really mean it that way? Of course she didn't. They're just saying, help yourself, Rev, because you need to have employment. And I agree with you. Totally agree with you. Why the hell should I get out of labor for t for supporting my family? Of course not. I'm not Lord Fauntleroy. Although, I'm back. Although I might act like it sometimes, like a spoiled child. It's true. Only child syndrome, spoiled shitless. That's true. Absolutely. And it's a miracle that she that Shani stays. It is a miracle. But I ask for your prayer for the believers. You know, just the, I I need it because my mind. I'm medicated right now, and 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 like. That happened right before I got extremely medicated and nicely medicated. You know what I mean? To medicated to a level where my thoughts aren't racing anymore and I can just talk to you. What I did there was horrible and disgusting. And I ask for your forgiveness again. Like this, this, this it, that's why I need to get to a professional. And I know that they're probably going to recommend maybe even antipsychotics. I don't know. But I think if, if I could get anxiety medication, uh that preempts me getting to panic attack level where I hear shit and I start acting out. Right. You, what you want is you want to get benzos so that you can get fucked up. Let's just be real. Okay. I really believe something like, I don't know, Xanax or, or one of these anti-anxiety uh, medications would work pretty well with me, but that's what I have to discuss. God, with what is going on with the neck thing? I didn't remember that it was this bad. Holy crap. Okay. I really believe something like, I don't know, Xanax or, or one of these anti-anxiety uh, medications would work pretty well with me. But that's what I have to discuss with a professional because I'm ready to confront it. I admit I have a problem. Now I just need an appointment, folks. <laughs> Three months, four months, five months. I mean, I got to get scheduled, so we'll see. But I want, I want to confront it now. I acknowledge it's there and it's 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 affects the relationship with my girl. I won't allow you to go to the doctor. That's who's no they're going to get. I got them. You got them? Okay, yeah. If your mind racing you to stop with a Starbucks caffeine. Oh my god. Caffeine. No, caffeine doesn't really affect me as much as anybody. I I drank a lot of caffeine, so it's yeah. For Shanny, it's like the opposite. Like caffeine does it relaxes her, you know. It's for me it gives me energy. It makes me feel it man, it's a good thing for me coffee yeah keeps me flushed out too uh and hydrated yikes it's it's a health thing it's a it's a healthy beverage to consume so what? i re drinking coffee is a health thing don't get me wrong i love my coffee but i ain't lying to myself thinking i'm drinking something healthy I really beg your forgiveness and i ask for shanny's forgiveness shanny could you forgive me can you forgive me? Yeah, but I don't want you to ever do that to me again. Never. No. Because yeah, I, I can't do it anymore. I know that. And I can't live in this mind like that anymore, where where it's okay for me to do that. Like, no. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm done yeah. being disrespected by people. Of course. Amen. And I want you to be respected. Always. You're the mother of the two boys, and you, you should have respect as, as the mother. 100%. That's it. You're the mother but I needed to do this. Listen to how he worded that. You're the mother of the two boys. Not you're the mother of our boys. Not the you are the mother of your boys. Not the boys. It's like, oh my God. You're the mother of the boys. Like they're just like this, um, you know, these people that he doesn't even really know. You know what I mean? It's just a weird... He's like distancing himself from them. Because it really... I want I want you to understand that I know... I, I After it happens, I see it, and I go, what the hell was that, dude? And, you know, Shani suggested I do this stream, but I'm doing it from my heart because I want you to know how I feel about my own condition. I don't want to be silent anymore about it and just tell the world that I'm okay. Like, that works. If you can... 
if you can remain medicated with whatever you're doing the medicating with, if you can remain medicated, you'll get along, sure. But it's a band-aid to the core issue. It's like bleeding out in your arm, right? <laughs> you got a gangrene, horrible wound, and you just keep redressing re it <coughs> every day. And it's just pus and soaked through, and it's not going to heal yeah. properly because you just don't have... You're out there in the middle of nowhere, and you can't... You don't have the stuff to take care of it, so you're going to lose your arm eventually. It's the same thing. You're, I want to treat the core of it, and if it means taking something, I'll do it. I, I really think the best for me would be an ant... Like as, uh, the one you guys said in the room. No, you didn't... Oh, my God. That Listen, Shani suggested I do it, but I was thinking about it before well, she you even... you said you were doing it, and I asked if you yeah, were to do it. Yeah, that's right. I was going to do it before she said anything because I felt like shit that I caused this problem and she had to end her stream. I feel like crap about that, and I should because it ruined her stream. That BS ruined the stream, so it's a day's... However much revenue she's got, she would have gotten from that stream is fucked because of me. Capped, because I was, I was fucked in the head. So I got to live with that. That revenue, however much that video would have been, is gone because I was an asshole. And can't deal like I should be able to deal as a fucking adult at this point in my life. I'm 38. I should be able to handle this without anything, really. If, if you, are you going to be a human being, Jay? Are you going to be a Christian? Why do you need anything but the Holy Spirit in you to treat people like they should be treated, which is equal and fair and with love? Why can't you do that not medicated, Jay? That, that's what JC would add, Christ would ask me. You don't, why do you, you got my spirit living in your heart? It's no excuse. If you got some mental stuff, whatever, dude, th these people are people. You're treating them like, like peons, like, and uh, like shit. And even your own girl. So that you, you serious got to repent of that now so that's what the repentance video too really and, and christians have to repent of of uh you know this this gotcha mindset i'm gonna get you because we're not supposed to be like that it's peter put down the sword it's not peter pick up the sword and kill all the the, the guys that were gonna crucify jesus that isn't what jesus said like it's get behind me satan when peter said let it not be so lord that you be crucified he said you're satan get behind me okay if you're gonna fight this stuff you're pro you're not in the right you're not in the right mindset. You just, you, you walk with it. You just have to walk with him and it's always love. But Lord, they're attacking me horrible. Like, like, no, Jay, you're not perceiving it right. Like a lot of it is just hate to be hate. But this is your girl's people. You're probably not seeing the words correctly. You're just taking it as the same thing as all of the other trolls. You're seeing things that are making you think of the trolls, but their comments aren't troll comments. It's just my paranoia because I've just, con it's constant attack every day. You got to get used to that. And I said to Shani before, just before I started this, my problem is I need to learn to not speak, to learn to not react. But yeah, I'm going to, I need, I think I need to just lay off Shani's stream. And I think that's what she wants is me not on her stream anymore for now. I'm sure she'd confirm that. And that's fine. I just hope she can forgive me for it. You know, I think she can, but no more treatment like that. And of course, it's, cl it's so clear after this stuff happens of how wrong it is. So it's like, why can't you see that before it happens and just go, no, you're not going to do that? The, the loose mouth. It's a discipline thing. You got to stop your tongue. Literally, you got to stop the tongue. And, and for immature individuals that are, that are probably hopped up, emotionally, forty viewers. Thanks so much, guys. Can you up if you like if you like it? Because I am sincere, man. I I I don't want to ever treat people like this ever, and especially my girl. I mean. Give me a break. This is a girl I love, and and why why should why should something like that go like this? It it should never be like that, especially given the fact that we're equally yoked as as believers in Jesus. So it should be like, no, we're gonna deal in love. We're dealing in love. So look at that comment, and you saw it. You took it in a way that you overblew what was being said. She was just giving an opinion of her side and what what she sees, and let her have the opinion. Which is correct, especially if you're a member, which she is. So it was just a total flunking grade on my part, and my loose mouth screwed things up for the day. So I apologize to you, and, and I beg for your forgiveness, and I appreciate everybody checking out, you know, what's going on here. We're going to be doing a show this Wednesday, which is what, tomorrow? Is tomorrow Wednesday? Maybe? Yeah, today's, yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday, man. So tomorrow night.
tomorrow night we're gonna have Benda. I, I'm gonna. I have to hook up with G and see if he's available. The G man, the G to the M to the A to the N G man. I had a rap in my mind for like a Trinitron entrance theme for G man that I might record on the Neumann someday for G man. He might like it. He might like it. If it is sped up, it's not me that sped it up. Um, but XX Archives, they may have sped it up. I'm not sure. It does sound a little fast. But I didn't speed it up, so. Uh, the human mind is very interesting. And I'm going to be honest with you, as a Christian, I did my research on psychology. And, and I, but I cut it off after a point and said, okay, psychology is mainly weaponized against people to make them all think they're neurotically crazy. That's not correct now, okay? Shani has corrected me on this. Modern day psychology is valid. Because they kind of sifted through all the bullshit of Freud and all the stuff, and they're they're to a point where they got a system going, and it does help people. Uh, and is the chemical medicine getting better with it? Probably, yeah. More effective, less people dying uh, of horrible stuff. You know, having problems with, with 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 experimental medications and stuff. They're getting to a point where the chemical system is even working good. So I am not anti psychology because my wife enlightened me to what modern psychology is. Which is nothing like it even was in like the '60s, right, Shani? Am I right? Huh? It's not even. What are you talking about? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, okay. Psychology, like it's way farther than the '60s. It was even like today. Of course. Of course. Science grows. Science grows. See, there you go. So, I've been enlightened on that, and she teaches me a lot about it. So, I apologize to everybody. Uh, about yeah tires are expensive and you got inflation too you know what I mean so 200 bucks is actually a pretty good price yeah they are it sucks gotta buy an all new set here soon oh my god I'm sorry Brit I am sorry Brit that's some BS man I'm sorry well God bless you guys for not uh, being rough you were nice and I appreciate that and I just pray that that Shani can look at me at, with some forgiveness because I'm sorry honey and I, I'm gonna make it up 100% to you I will I will Okay. I will. I'll make it up to you. We'll see. I love you guys, right. and I'm really sorry. Okay? I'm trying every day to do my best to walk that line. Because it is like walking a line straight. Sobriety? Yeah. When you're forced to be sober, it's like a line. you got to walk it. When you're forced to be sober. Did you hear how he just worded that? Not when you get sober. When you're forced. So he was forced to walk that line because it is like walking a line straight sobriety yeah when you're forced to be sober it's like a line you got to walk it just keep your cool and that i'm trying okay that's what jesus keeps telling me too. keep your cool your temper and your anxiety can get you in trouble jay and remember to eat when you feel like you're gonna drop get a snickers or something man because that makes you act out if you're not fed good yeah, at least with something in there to burn the fuel so I love you guys, and I apologize for, for my mouth. And I, Shani had a great stream planned for you for, you know, it was Stardew. And I miss it. I was looking forward to her playing Stardew. And it's like, what the hell is your, what are you saying? What are you doing? You ruined yourself. Because I was looking forward to seeing her play the game. Because I love the game. So I screwed myself, too, out of good, out of good entertainment watching her. Screwed myself, too. Barely even thinking of it because of this mouth. And I screwed myself, too. <laughs> That's an... Look, it says in the Bible that a wise man speaks less. Bridles okay. his tongue. Bridles the tongue. Yeah. Yes. Yes. A wise man, in, in effect, is not, you're not going to hear a quick response like I did. That's exactly what I did. I looked at it, took it as an offense, and boom, you're a beep. That's it. That's what happened. And it's not acceptable. I'm old enough that that shouldn't happen. Because it is childish at the end of the day. That's the type of shit kids do when they get mad at somebody quick. You're an ass. You know, something like that. You know? It's childish. And especially given the fact that that individual deserves respect in the room as a member. That's even worse, see? It's, it was just totally wrong. So, mea culpa. God bless you guys. I love you. Um, thumbs up are always appreciated. Uh, Algorithm City, you know what I mean? It's fun stuff. 
I really love you guys, and I sorry, I'm sorry that I mess up. Because I do. I really do. Um, very childish, exactly. Duffel bag girl. <laughs> I like that name. So I'm calling a peace out on you guys, and uh, God bless you. I hope your life, your lives are bright. I hope. <laughs> I hope everything's going good with you. But um, you know, another thing about this was very simply this, and I'll leave leave you with this. I felt offended because, like, it's like this this tire thing. It's kind of rough. It's like okay, you. I've already stated I am going to get a job, but like it's it's like the tire is a situation where like transportation is needed immediately. Because there's, I, I, everything isn't available around here, and the Ubers are. It's twenty three bucks a trip for two miles. It's twenty three bucks. Are you kidding me? So, I felt like it was. I, I felt like the person was treating me like I was asking for a luxury. Do you understand? Like it's not a luxury; it's a necessity. But see, that I took it. I took it that way, and that's not how she meant it. She was making a wider statement of, you got to help yourself, Rev, which is fine. That's true. So God bless you. Peace out. I love you guys. And I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, we're going to talk about the worst gimmicks in WWE history. We'll see you then, folks. God bless you all. Yeah. So, <clears throat> that was that. Um... I think that wraps everything up, guys. Uh, I hope that you had a good time here with me. Um, let's see. I'm going to pull up something to leave you guys with. Um, I think that uh, looking back at everything we saw, um, I think that she did go to an appointment. And um, I think she did get a mammogram. I don't think she's worried that she has cancer. Just by the way that they were a acting about... Did I buy his apology? Hell no. Hell no, I did not buy his apology. Um, yeah, he was just apologizing to Shani. He really wasn't even apologizing to me. I mean, that was pretty clear. She made him do it, I'm sure. Like everything else. But, um... <laughs> Rev's video this morning to G-Man was interesting as well, so... I uh, would not be surprised if they pop on in a little while and go live. Um, if they do, I will definitely be here for that and bring that to you guys. Um, but otherwise, I will be seeing you guys on the next one. I think that that's it. I can't think of anything else I'm forgetting to say. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you guys. You're awesome. And I just appreciate you so much and all the support. Shani just went live. You better not be messing with me. Are you pulling my leg? I'm going to be mad at you. I don't think she's alive. She's not live. Why are you pulling my leg? So mean. So mean. All right, guys. I'm going to run. If she goes live again, I will on Rumble. I'll check. Let me check one more place. Let's see. Let me see. Uh, nope. Not on. Let me see something real quick. What is it? Let me see something real quick. Sorry, hold on. Oh, Rumble is G Man live? All right, hold on, hold on. We got a lot of stuff happening here. Let me see. Oh, that's that was a different never mind. Never mind. All right. There I did find something else that you guys might want to watch. Hold on. Let me pull. Let me pull this up. I don't know what 
this is, but oh, never mind. It's not working anyway. Never mind. I was I thought I was I had found something to show you guys, but why isn't it working? Hold on. So weird. Oh, no, never mind. I can't show this here anyway. <laughs> My bad. All right, guys. I'm really wrapping it up. Thank you guys for being here. I love you. I'm going to leave you with this on. It's going to be a Lowell's Cow production one, though, so it's not going to be as torturous as having to listen to Shani and Rev. Um, I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Have a great night. Love you guys. Rev went begging on his channel for some Delta 8 Chetty's too fat to fit on the bed She was looking at the cam with a finger and a thumb Holding on to the last bit of Delta meds Well, tears start coming and they don't stop coming Rev knew the rules and he hit the ground running Had to sprint to the store for drugs His hands are soft but his feet are strong Can't get a job, can't drive a car So what's wrong with begging on E Street? If he returns without the med He will be hit in the head Oh, well now you're an all-star Get your stream on, go beg Well now you're famous Show on, get All that great is go running out of meds with your trolls you're in a cold place and it's gonna get colder when you get desperate you tend to get bolder why does shelly tend to get fatter while rev gets thinner he don't matter the food you eat is getting pretty short rev looks like he needs to abort my furnace works how about yours you're suffering and i like it and i won't get bored well now you're an all-star, get your stream on, go beg Well now you're famous, get your show on, get paid And all that thrifting is gold Running out of meds with your trolls Well now you're an all-star, get your stream on, go beg Well now you're famous, get your show on, get paid All that grifting is gold, running out of meds You asked if I could spare some money for cheese pizza But why should anyone pony up to treat ya? I said get a job, what a concept You could earn a little pizza yourself And we all need to earn a living wage Well, the grip keeps coming and they don't stop streaming Supported by trolls, they keep on reviewing Doesn't make sense to give for fun They think they're smart, but you all are dumb So what to do, so nothing to see So what's wrong with begging on East Street If Rev returns without the med He will be hit in the head well now, you're an all-star, get your stream on, go beg Well now, you're famous, get your show on, get paid And all that grifting is gold Running out of meds, where's your trolls? All that grifting is gold Running out of meds, where's your trolls?